Okay. Um, I guess I can post this as a pseudo go live, not if two. Bro, this freaking Twitch story thing is so bad for customization. Maybe I didn't go in depth enough, but I swear to God, I had the options between white, black, like, you know, all the printer colors, like cyan, magenta, etc., for the text colors to put on top of the image that I randomly grabbed I, when I googled dog Yu-Gi-Oh! and it gave me like dog archetype or something, I don't freaking <laughs> just grab the first picture um, because I wanted to post a Twitch story thing because it's a go live notification but better I guess every single color was you okay to be fair that also is testament to how f scuffed the goddamn image was for the thing I guess but every single color option that they gave me was, like, it was either illegible because of the contrast, or it was in the background, which means it's also illegible because of the contrast. So, like, no matter which color I pick, it looks horrible. So if you end up seeing that star, you know, you can... You can be happy that... There's no inf important information there. <laughs> can I do an Emancipator Magnet event? Uh, or you can do? But I don't think I want to do. That's kind of I don't think uh, that's that's kind of the thing. I don't think I want to do it in the event. Okay, here's the big question though. Here's the big one. If I wanted to play this, I can't, <laughs> bro. Ah, flower card is too strong. It's just too strong for the event. All right, this daily mission is gonna take like ten years. By the way, be ready. I hope you're I hope you're mentally prepared, guys. This is how we're gonna climb to diamond in this deck, by the way. And just do a daily duel every single day of the month. And eventually we're bound to rank up, right? Oh my god. First duel on my opponent's making me go first. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Can't be serious. <clears throat> It's fine. This is fine. Don't worry. Okay! Flower gathering! I love to gla glaver. I love to gather flowers. Yep. I freaking love... Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, at least I got a tuner. That's huge. That's kind of huge. I mean, I know it's a win con, but like, unlike... <laughs> unlike with Dark World, it doesn't feel good, you know? I don't go like, oh yes, they gave me the deca. We I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, I have to do this shit again. Why couldn't it be some shit deck that would get annoyed at me summoning for a long time and just leave? <sighs> you know. Mm, I mean, this card draws for its effects. So. One, two, three. No, no, it's not 60 cards, that's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. I was like, wait, is it 60 cards? Oh, please, no. Also, I normal summoned, which is a bad idea, by the way. But okay. Um... What, do you, what do you mean, even more? Are you saying by comparison, or like... Like, compared to itself, month over month, or compared to Flower Cardian? Because if you mean... Compared to Flower Cardian, that I am uh, hired at disagreeing. But if you mean compared to it last month, I don't know, to be honest. I think it somewhat depends how early it happens and what you have in the hand. Because Macrocosmos format is not exactly ideal either for the deck. 
if I'm being entirely honest here with it. Um. Oh no, at least it's recoordination, you know? Gotta look on the bright side. Come on, give me a sp- oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're schwalking. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Hello. Okay, draw a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon the card. Bam. Activate the card. Tribute the other card. Draw a card. Special summon a card. Summon this card. Get a card. Activate the effect of card. How have we not been ashed yet, though? Or there's not been an ash prompt whatsoever. I'm like, what the frick is happening, man? Uh, I mean, this is not great. I should have stacked. Why didn't I just stack? What the frick am I doing? That is actually really bad. Never punished. Actually never punished. Holy. Alright. I want... Wait, do I not have any more of those? Oh my... Where did they go? How did I use all of them? Oh, I summoned them from the spells. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's not great at all. Okay, summon this one. Um, get a tuner. Okay, so... Mm-hmm. Okay, so this guy will come out here. He's a tuner. He's gonna draw a card. Bam. That card is gonna be a card that's going to reveal the top card to summon itself. And that card is a tuner. Then, we're gonna tribute the tuner, because I'm crazy like that, to summon another tuner, which will then reveal a card. Brother. It sucks because I know it's not imperm. That's so traumatizing too. Oh, it's some sort of a zombie pile, great. Okay, okay. Uh, by the way, I mean, I guess... Hmm. There's both good news and bad news off of this. So, the good news... Is that, technically speaking... They are very much Graveyard Reliant. So, if I can just go for the fly... And resolve it, their turns significantly impacted off of that, right? Like, it unironically does get hit a lot. Bad news is... Uh... He summoned the Bestial just now. That's the bad news. Good morning. Good morning. Bro, this is so messed up though. I don't even know what I'm coping for. Because he banished the good card. I guess I need the tuner, right? It has to be the tuner. Alright, come on. Big whammy, big win. <laughs> big win, 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 big win. Shit! We're screwed. We're screwed. It's over. They're all freaking darks. Oh. I mean, I guess I can stack with this one for what it's worth. This guy can get me... Um, another guy, which will get me this guy. Okay. Mm 
bro. Honestly, this is a horrible, like, draw order too for me because... Um... It doesn't guarantee me getting into a spell or anything. <laughs> I need a power spell, bro. I need one so bad. You don't want to summon it because I miss out on the draw, right? He's on 15 cards! It's really bad though that he's playing Bestials. Okay, do I have target? I don't. Oh god, that's so rough. That's not it. Gathering doesn't do it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I tried so hard! <laughs> And got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter, man. Please. Come on. Come on, super draw one time. No! Come on, man. I don't even know what I can draw into anymore. I guess it has to be another green. Oh, no. Also, super wasn't even the card I needed. I needed a different card. Well, we tried. I needed the freaking super all in. Yeah. I needed super all in, Learn about the but it was the first smell. Summoning strategy, Monodium. I still had one in the deck though. I mean, it really depends on the engine this guy is playing. How bad this is. Mm, it's not so much about him being bricked. He's playing a zombie focused deck. Um, and he's under soup. Whatever the frick this card's name is again. He's under soup. <laughs> he's at soup. He's under board. Board. Board the fly. Okay, he's milling himself up. Let's go. He's he's milling himself up. Oh my god, let's go. Come on, dude, you can do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my god, not the super poly. I guess I could have called a form. Yeah, this does suck because he can, you know, still summon shit from the stuff that he got off for free in this one, but... Also, to be honest, the bigger issue is he's gonna be able to get bold dad in the graveyard next turn, which means it comes back, but I guess I can just swing over it in theory as well. Hmm... The question is, can he make something big enough to attack over this as well? Like, he definitely can, but the bigger question is, will he? He did. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Can this attack the turn it uses to fight? Oh, it just has like no restrictions. That's it. Wait, what? Oh, I got negated. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. Man. <sighs> like this guy's not making a proper board, but he does have 30 cards in hand. So, you know, well, not anymore. But... I love how he's like, doing his best to get as close as possible to decking himself out. Freaking doesn't understand. Why card doesn't activate? Why does my card activate? Oh 
Oh my god, bro. No, it doesn't work. <sighs> nice end word, man. He didn't even attack. But I'm still screwed though. Bold that is too much. Probably. Yeah, it's very unlucky. It's unlucky that he plays Dark Ruler. Otherwise, I was indestructible, so that would have helped. What? Why are you discarding Max C, bro? What about all the cards you could get? Yeah, he must have called by as well. Better, better. That's true, this card has an effect too. It's been so long since we've gotten to a turn three. I forgot to check if I could activate gathering. That's pretty important to be fair. Oh, I'm getting called by Dread. I can't, yeah, we don't have enough resources. Eh, it's that's so bad. It's so unlucky I drew into Gathering rather than Super All-In. If I got Super All-In... I guess I still would have been screwed by freaking By freaking Dark Ruler no more. Yeah, that's true. Are left? Are they all in the grave? They're all in the grave. I'm super. Sad. This guy did so many cool things. He activated Max C, and then he just summoned a bunch of cards, not understanding why their effects didn't work. And then he ended turn discarded 15 cards, and now he won the game. That's so epic. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you, Konami. Thank you for the chance for my opponent to activate Maxi and win the game. Don't have to be born with a crooked nose to have one. Uh, uh, I don't. Crooked Cook isn't an FTK card, though, right? It's a stock card. <laughs> Why are you making Beatrice, bro? Or me? I guess that's fine. We can check to see around any other royals. Doesn't look like it. For 
bro. This guy sucks ass. Why is he taking so long? Just kill us already. I'm still like pissed. <laughs> I'm still so annoying. He he got so lucky. Wow, that looks like it would never brick at all. That looks so good, dude. That looks like it would never brick ever. <sighs> I'm glad that he's, you know, bothering to summon every single card from his hand right now. Okay, thank god. I was like, oh, what next? Are we gonna make access code as well? Even though we couldn't because of Dark Lock. Jesus Christ. That sucked. Just activated Maxi and won the game. It's so bad. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm angry. Oh well. I mean, I signed up for this, right? No, I was one away. The next one would have been a wreck up. If that was you, why the frick did you summon so much? We were both stuck in here while I had to summon one million times because that's how my deck works. I'm not styling when I do that. I literally can't move on. My deck doesn't do anything except summon. Why can't you just kill me then? Hmm. If it wasn't you. Heck you. Anyways. You were the zombie player? No, you were the you were the freaking you were the freaking flower cardian player. Uh PDS. Uh zero to flower cardian. How horrible is this list? I just picked this up from somewhere. It's got like DLV Max, two DC cups ago or something. And I've been playing it. I played it for a week and now I do dailies with it. It feels very bad, but that's, I think, more to do with the Flower Cardian part. <laughs> you do the FDK version? Oh god, no. Okay, yeah, I don't do that. How do you even FDK? Like, what do you use as an FDK engine, though? Synchro- Oh, that shit. Okay, I see. I feel like that's so inconsistent, though. But then again, maybe that's how my first games went. I also had, um... When I first picked this up, I had, like, a 10-game streak of not getting to play at all. As in, like, I have one summon, and then that summon gets, like, ogred or something, and I can't summon anything anymore. Or I need to resolve one of the spells, and I just get ashed, and I have to pass, and then I die. But yeah, GG zombie player. I'm obviously, <laughs> obviously exaggerating, but still. How dare you? How dare you? Deep drop for it. Desynchro. Yeah, I tried desynchro at first as well. I guess I did cut out the desynchros and I added more names because I was struggling without them. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The best word that I've made is being under the, f the lock and then I had the targeting protection one. And two of the 5k bungus. But that's such, like, compared to any other deck, pretty much, that's so freaking pathetic, right? It's two spell trap negates and targeting protection. And that's it. Like, bro, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, I feel that. I don't think you can I don't think you can realistically do anything. Uh, 
Mill snow and prey. What the? Do 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 do. I can't even be mad about losing to. Well, I didn't lose to Hecken. Uh. Dark Ruler, but it's also a good card in the meta, so I can't even complain about it being activated. I was thinking, like, do I complain? But no, I can't even. I can't in good, in good faith do that. It's just not, it's not something I can do. I used to play one of Dimensional Barrier. Oh yeah, I know that. Um, people played like random shit. They played the Counter Trap that tributes um. The tributes a synchro, right? When your opponent tries to summon something and then locks them out of summons for the rest of a turn or whatever. Oh god. A random guy. Wait, did he make me go? I don't want to go first, bro. Are you freaking shitting me? Did I choose going first? I can't even tell. God. Taking all the time, game one. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. PDS is that guy. <laughs> Being that guy. IRL. Oh, sorry, I opened the uh, field spells. That's great. In case they ash me, right? Or you can't even ash them. Okay, luckily, we play a kaiju in Small World for it, so, you know... Uh, I also have Goddess, to be fair. Yeah, I don't... I, I Maybe I clicked to go first, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Uh, do I want this guy as the extra body right now? I don't think so. We can keep it as a scale. Oh, am I gonna get max seed again? Or Oh, he can get rid of the field spell! No! <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Here we have Kenny Fisson. What do I even want from here? I guess it's always this guy, right? He needs, he needs freaking Kenny Fisson, so it's fine. Alright, every single opponent has been rolling six against me whenever they play the shitty Floodgate build. Oh yeah, cool! I love rolling one. That's so nice. Haha. <laughs> That's so cool. I freaking love it, dude. Oh my god. Okay, we have four. We have the six. We can get another move, man, I guess. Bap, bap, bap. And played for all of COVID. Wait, which tuner? Uh... Oh, I can't summon the big guys actually. Unless I get rid of this with a normal summon or something. I guess I could do, but I think this is only a two scale anyways, so I only get to summon two. Maybe I do get, I do get the high scale guy. Did I search for her? Oh, I added the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This guy's a little bit more situational. Oh, 
Well, I'm locked out of freaking. I'm locked out of uh, non valence stuff. That's great. Um. Does this guy even matter right now? He can rescale. I'm so Get this guy here, that guy here, this guy here, that guy bounces, this guy can move, Frick, this actually wasn't intended, I was supposed to start with that one if I wanted to rank both of them up, but whatever. Um... I guess I only need really really need one, right? It's just a bit sick. Um this can be these <laughs> the frick are these I mean I'm in plat on this account, right? Like what am I really expecting, but But still Jesus. beat this <laughs> that was epic one with the red rose oh let's see wait why was it bad what the frick electromatic girl suppose I mean I guess right Interactive? What do you mean? He made me go first! Uh, what do you interact- This guy made freaking cook and passed! Oh man, this duel wasn't- Whose fault do you think that is? This guy doesn't want an interactive duel. We're acting like he wanted one. Okay, I have to actually make two more decks, or I wanted to make two more decks. But I forgot. Uh, I think there is another thing that I wanted to check real quick. But I I had to make two more decks for extra stuff with uh, Nagwan. I wanted to check if uh... is this legal? Oh, kaiju's are done. Oh wow, they really just huh? They're like you can play the deck. Why did they even leave the Link one legal? I don't understand. I guess the reasoning is they don't really limit stuff unless they think it's to kill the deck and then they just hit the Link 2. But it's like in a state where you could technically play it, it just would be worse. That's kind of hecked up. I mean, this one should be banned, right? Yeah, Shinome is gone, the extra deck cards are gone. The extra deck is gone for this one. This one should be gone as well, yeah, the extra deck. Yep, the extra deck. Wait, Plunder had, uh... Yo, wait, hold up. Hold up. I don't know about these, but... Hmm... <sighs> okay, keys probably okay.
I guess Gamma's not as bad in this one. I also just don't see a lot of alternatives, to be fair. Uh... Is Droll legal? I feel like Droll's not even that good, though. Then again, it depends on what you see people playing. Okay, I have another option, I guess. Dominate event, good for him. I don't think that event really has like... You know, these events you can play whatever the frick you want for the most part. There are decks that will perform better and there are decks that will perform worse, but... But, uh... You know, it's not like, oh wow, you're really winning the event, bro. You got to 11k points on day one, like a bunch of other people who will have to do the events afterwards, or the missions afterwards. Damn, you really won the event, bro. Is it 16k now? Or Oh yeah, I get, wait. Bro, I have to check how much I'm gonna have to go in front. Dude, yeah, there's two. I saw there were two right now. I mean, I only bother for it on like one or two accounts usually if I enjoy it. Mm, Night Chaser, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um. I wanted to do a couple things. Okay, so the first one is. For dailies, we want to add another copy of this. Ironically, I feel like I want to add another copy of this. And then... I I almost want to say I don't even want to play The Crowd Goes Wild. It's so situational with it. And then I guess I can cut a Veiler because, you know, 51 credits is ugly. It goes mild, yeah. Yeah, it really does go mild. Like, it's probably better in smaller builds, but because I'm going for a bigger one... Oh, you technically can play a build of, uh... Marincis as well. Oh my god, I have to... I don't have the extra jimmies on this account, though. That's so sad. The things I do for content. Those such man. Wait, I wanted to copy. <clears throat> this is all this all this freaking shit, by the way. Oh boy. I love the, um, I love the twin twisters. Two Ash, because we don't want to... Oh my god, the hand trap count being lower because we don't want to have names in the graveyard so I think the sword could be usable. Oh god. That's so sad, what the hell. Uh, what about Vern, Sylph, any of them left? is here. Pretty good. And this guy draws, right? Yeah. This guy was, uh... Uh... Or fairy. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Oh, wait. I didn't check the... Yeah, I added that before. Oh, wait, but it is all legal. Damn. Meow. Mm -hmm. 
do 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 I don't know if I like the the Lord Maxi count. Not a big fan of that. <laughs> Not a big fan of that in retrospect. And then obviously we have to do this as well. This is the classic. Oh god, the extra deck. My poor extra deck. I think it's more of a board breaker type of uh, situation, right? Like if I'm playing anything. It's pretty fine. Uh, is the event up? It's up tomorrow. I mean, what happened to my cat? Why would you? Why would you phrase it like that, Monkey X? I don't know how much I like Dragon Bite without Synchros being available, but I guess I could check. Actually, I guess I could still synchro. We still have some synchros that are available. Um, I say that and then I don't see anything good. New Fusion Legal? Uh, it should be, yeah. I mean, Beach Troopers have a story mode, right? So. I haven't actually used B Troop the new Beach Trooper Fusion, you're right. I mean, we could play a copy of uh, Landing and then the other Fusion, but I feel like like that doesn't really come up. I wish the Fusion wasn't so bad. The only other option is, I guess... It's like the only other option, in which case, I don't know. Is Invoked or Invoked Fusions legal? Oh, they are. You can summon this one and you can summon this one too. What about... What about Mary JD can't? Okay. Unlucky. <laughs> What's the event about? It's uh, another one of the, you know, like, solo mode events, aka it's kind of garbage, you know. Not very good. I guess we played that over this. Is my extra card that I added there, Kaliga? Mm. I mean, I think the bigger problem is I don't think I ever summoned this guy, so... Unironically. About gems? I mean, it's always about gems. Okay, let me do my dailies real quick, and then I think after that we can DM Nag. Bees nuts time? It's always bees nuts time. Demise and ruin? You can! I don't know if you want to, but I mean, you can. I had something else up, oh yeah. Always gotta go first. Sucks. 
Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now <laughs> the perfect, begin the our perfect adventure. timing for the raid. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Don't worry, guys. It's important. It's important. Important lore. Thanks so much for the raid, Luke. Oh, oh wait, no. Ah, uh, guys, please. <laughs> I put on shield mode. Oh no. Wait, wait. Did I do that? Wait, did I do that? It, it might have been me. Uh, it should have been me, not him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You were shielded. How is your stream? Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good time. Welcome. Everything is fine here. I'm just doing some dailies before I'm hanging out with Neg, trying out the uh, the new event decks and stuff. Oh no, we also bricked. Oh. oh well. Okay, they really. I will be on like. I typed SH and it probably auto-completed the shield instead of shout-out. Like, that's such a bad thing to have side-by-side. Side. It's like, oh, either I'm going to shout someone out or I'm going to make chat unable to type. Like, what? <laughs> that's so bad. But yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, God. God. H is is so far from O. Um, what? You do understand that they both start with S H, right? Huh? What? What? What are you trying to say with H is so far from O? No, it's not. It's shout out. SO is like the shorthand nightbot command. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. <clears throat> the sad part is the sad. It's um not the first time that I've uh that I've <laughs> made this mistake. Oh god. Not like this. I saw you were playing uh, Dueling Book with your uh, patented Beat Soul Kashtira deck. I guess Kashtira can be considered based in TCG now, right? Because they don't have Floodgate on likes available anymore for quite some time. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's- I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't know if you stream a lot, so... It's so cash? Yeah, he- he won a, uh... Was it a regional? Some sort of British event. Luke won that. With, uh... With Heat Soul Cash. Learn about the powerful new synchro summoning strategy. Monadium. Oh. Has he used the revive yet? He has, okay. It's okay, guys. We live with 400 life points. It's not like my deck relies on being able to pay life points to do shit or anything. Oh my god, man. What the frick am I supposed to do? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is the worst first duel for daily on this one. There was a scenario where I could maybe clear the board, but honestly, he would still, you know, he would destroy my Zeus regardless, so I don't think it would have mattered too much. Remember, guys, how last week I was talking about the uh, weather going from minus 27 to plus 2 degrees. So all the snow melted. So it all melted and then it snowed over the last few days again. And a lot of the roads just aren't cleared yet here. 
because it's really light snow. So it just piles up. Woohoo, it's so fun to, you know, go on the sidewalk and it's just 10 centimeters of snow. Woohoo! Doesn't that just mean ice? No, that we already passed that point. We're already past the every ice everywhere point. So that did happen at one point as well. So it was more of a thing in October, I guess. Well, the snowman is here. The thing is, this isn't really good snow for building a snowman. This is the. This is a type of snow that, uh... I don't know, I guess it's better for skiing, right? Because it's powdered snow or whatever, pretty much. I don't know, I've never actually skied. How does a person here 27 degrees and think, wow, it's a nice warm day? Uh, I feel like it's so weird to me when people try to defend Fahrenheit. Like, that shit is literally just made for baking and nothing else. <laughs> I remember I was in someone's stream and they were talking about temperature conversion. And they went, uh... Okay, so if I remember correctly, zero degrees is a uh, freezing point for water. So that kind of makes sense. Bitch! What is zero degrees in Fahrenheit, hmm? Everything is arbitrary in Fahrenheit. That shit sucks, okay? It's worse. It's objectively worse. You have to convert to our... Our format. Dude, I mean, obviously, it's it comes down to what you're used to, right? Admittedly, though, temperature in general is, you know... It could be... It could be 25 degrees. And you're someone who enjoys 25 degree weather, but it might be like humid as balls and then... It, you, you might not enjoy it as much anymore. <clears throat> like, there's a lot of factors that go into it. I would call 27 too hot, by the way. I'm not a fan of the heat. Oh my god, not again, man. I mean, I'm not dead. <laughs> but I'm not in a good spot either. I can't pay life points. That also sucks, actually. I mean, it's just two negates, two hand traps pass, right? They announced extreme black ice for tomorrow, but you have urgent appointments you need to get to. Public transport is probably not going to come tomorrow, and driving is going to be day. Oh, God. Black ice is, um... Like, ice that you can't see, technically, I guess, is the way to describe it. I love Cicada King. Though I'm disappointed, because I would always call it Cicadia King, and it's not Cicadia King. So I'm like, man, this sucks. I want it to be Cicadia King. But it's just Cicada King. That's kind of the point. That's why it's black. Well, I... What? So you're implying that any other kind of ice is good ice? I don't think there is such a thing, to be honest. Da -da -da. Nah, that's bad, too. Uh, I think we put him on better habit here in this as well. Wait, did he search this guy? I think he did, right? Oh, wait, he already had this. What the frick am I doing? That was kind of questionable, but okay. Eh, it could be worse. We can still stop a little bit here. Between the max seed that we have... Of course, he has Ash. Like, why wouldn't he have Ash, right? Jesus Christ, that's not... Okay. 
Okay, okay. I mean, in what sense? I. It's not only super heavies themselves, right? They're just the freaking engine. Fuck's oh, no. But I guess I. I don't even know. I guess he gets one off of this, so he synchros makes a negate. Alternatively, I negate the thing he can pen out to, he gets another body. It's bad regardless. Uh, thank you for the follow. Yeah, but pure super heavy slammer. Like again, if you play it with the fo with the focus of going for just super heavy samurai plays, okay, this guy doesn't know what the frick he's doing. How are you in master rank, bro? How are you in master four? Like, it's not that it's hard to get in master four, but like, how are you in master four and then you go for this play? I mean, I guess then again, maybe he did it on purpose because I have like no other cards, right? Yeah, that's. I guess that's kind of. I don't know. I guess that's real. And before he's gonna OTK us now. I guess maybe he can. Can he? He gets a surge. Double attack is not enough on its own, though. Oh, that is, though. No, but he doesn't get the surge. Yeah, never mind. I don't know. What does this guy do again? All spells and traps. Okay. Okay, maybe I was too hasty. He actually did have a target. I assumed he wouldn't have a target, but at the same time, it's like, why are we doing this? I mean, I still need a top deck, right? Okay, he's going for a uh, whippable target, but could be just discard. Okay, we're still attaching it. Oh, wait, are we gonna end on Guska? Are you... This game is so stupid. Okay, never mind, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he's locked, right? Yeah, he's locked. What am I gonna say? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you can't. One banishes from a grave, right? Also, it's an ignition effect, not a quick effect. So. I could just Zeus. Maybe that would have been. I mean, I still could, but. Thinking whether it's the best choice. It does leave him on, like, no cards. Okay, 
Actually, I didn't need the top deck, it was fine. <laughs> I had the search. I thought he was gonna do more damage because he's gonna pop first, and then I considered maybe Pep could kill him, but. Um. I'm wondering whether this is even worth it. How low can I go with this? Can go minus 1k at 34. I guess the difference is uh, 46. And over him, at 46, we go up to 81, so it's not game. I should have just gone Zeus immediately, right? Oh, she's a lot of tuner only he is. But I guess I... No, I can still do it, right? Um... I summon the thing and then I pay another 15? Which would put me in the range, I think. I feel like I might regret this, but... Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't draw twice? What the heck? What do you mean? He got hand trapped. Or rather, not just hand trapped. He got negated, so he decided to go for this stuff. Like, look. I mean, I, not, I agree that maybe it was not the best choice that he made, but at the same time, it's like I don't know if we really shit on him for being bad or whatever in this situation. Uh, thanks so much for the gift sub, uh, fervent. Thank you, thank you. We're not gift sub. Wait, free sub. But why did I say gift sub? Thank you for the re sub, fervent. Welcome <laughs> back, Jesus. Do, 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 do. You binged some Alba's lore last night? I'm trying to think, am I a hater of Alba's lore? I mean, it's okay. There's definitely worse. I think the lore books from Konami do a lot. Like, they actually have something going for them at least, right? Compared to the solo gates. Those are solo mods. Da, da, da. Friends. Um, I think we're done with dailies, so... So, I think... I'm gonna hop over to an account where I have one of the decks for the best of three, best of three. And then we'll see when negative one shows up. Bunga my mysterious boy bonks in there. Eh, well, I feel like that's the fact that he's. Oh my god, random unknown origin kid, dragon, dragonborn kid is like. Alright, dude. 
Very cool, very mysterious. Let me reduce the volume on this. He fell from Konami's vault. Yeah, he did. Hello, welcome. Greetings, Nephilim. How's it going? Uh, I think it's going okay. Uh, I I have some decks. Uh, uh, I have a couple made. I made some extra just in case after the fact. I hope you didn't see them. They're very secret, and you could never imagine their ratios otherwise. You know, they're mm. completely original. Okay. Definitely also no repeat decks from previous. <laughs> oh. oh god. How do, how are you feeling about the originality of your decks? How like uh, overall? Hmm. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's very convincing. I I've realized that um uh since okay, I I guess I didn't really do a rundown for this for for chat. But uh, we, we kind of have a structured idea for trying out going head to head with event decks before the event comes out, both to try out decks, but also to just do something, you know, different from playing against super heavy samurai uh, and droll and maxi. Um, and uh, <clears throat> the, the idea is we have three types of decks that are event legal. We have uh a budget deck uh a deck that we consider this is neat but probably not really budget or necessarily good so it's like i don't know fan not fa fan favorite i don't know deck that i would like to play in the event or something i don't know we didn't really it was kind of quote unquote yeah, cool deck but i'm not sure if i can you know cool things are different for different people so it's like streamer's choice deck or whatever and then um yeah. Uh, and then we have a deck that we expect to do well, or, you know, uh, yeah, I've realized there's a, I would say there's like an 80% chance that we have the same budget deck, probably. Oh. I, I, I feel like there's a really high likelihood that we have the same one, but, uh, uh, but I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe you were more original than me. Uh, you know, that, that, that could, that could happen. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, I will say, um, you know, you mentioned, like, not playing against Super Heavy, the Maxi, etc. Um, you know Maxi is legal in those. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I mean, so is Droll, right? Which... Admittedly, it does suck. It sucks that that's the case, but mm -hmm. they sadly have been taking this approach for a while, where in most of the event types, they don't really want to hit the hand traps, which I, I really don't understand why. Like, nobody's going to miss them. Let's be real. Oh, it, I say that. And then we had people who were... I, I've had people complain about uh, Legend Anthology, I think, which had very restrictive hand trap lineup. And I think also maybe the synchro event or whatever, where people are like, well, this sucks. Now I don't have hand traps, which to an extent, I guess I kind of understand. But at the same time, bro, it's Maxi. Like, Maxi isn't the type of card where where you're going to... I guess it was Legend, right? Where there were just fewer hand traps in general. But if it, if it were, let's say if it were just Maxi, it's like Maxi is not the type of hand trap that makes the game... The, the game... You know, more back and forth, probably. Yep. Most likely, it's like, okay, so if it resolves, you probably win. Cool. You were playing people. Yeah, um, yeah I, I could switch to this. Um, I have a room I can send you. Uh, by the way, do you have your decks on the same account? I have... Oh, yeah. I, I, I Obviously, as per usual, I'm hopping around. Uh, so I have a proposal for the order of how we do this. Because... Um, okay. Uh, I have a budget and a non-budget deck on my, on one account, and I have, like, a kooky, wacky deck, <laughs> wacky deck on, uh, on another account on which I am already on. 
So I feel like okay. we could we could probably try to start with uh, the the f the funky decks, the monkey decks, and then uh, and then move on to budget, and then go to whatever we expect to do decently well. Okay. Um, I think I actually have two decks that kind of fit that description. Mm, just thinking about which one. Um. Hmm. Okay. All right, I think I got it. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I feel like a lot of the other ones that I have probably fall into that category as well. But, but yeah. Um, yeah. I have four right now. Um, I tried looking into a fifth, but I decided if we're gonna do three best of threes, I'll I'll stick with just four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I have. I think I have three extra ones that I have made like after after that as well but uh I I had already decided on these and I was like yeah you know what it's fine but I feel like the the budget option is really really obvious <laughs> for the event so I'm like hmm yeah. I, I feel like I I'm not sure what I know oh okay I know the, but Nev stack building. What do you mean? Okay, to be fair, I will be transparent. I kind of rush built the three main ones, and I'm more confident than two of the ones that aren't on my line. <laughs> but, oh, but it's okay. okay. I'm. I, they're gonna be fine. I I didn't realize that w like two things were hidden. The one thing in the extra deck and one thing in the main deck for for the strong deck that I chose, and it like threw me for a loop. I was I was not sure what to do. I was like, what now? You know? The funky deck that I'm playing... Um, is a deck that really should have a card unlimited. But, uh... Mm. But it's also... Well, you'll see. It's a very solo mode deck. It's, um... Okay. It's, it's very solo mode. So, anyways, normal summon fanzies. <laughs> oh. I see, we, uh... <laughs> it's, it's super solo mode. I don't know, they left everything legal and the shit, but they refused to unlimit Meow Mew, which is like, what are you doing? Why would you, why would you do that? No, my one weakness. Anyways. I didn't, oh, right. Right. well, you may proceed to plus six. Okay. I have to say the card name every time I summon, of course. That's how it works. Summon Prank Kids Meow Mew. Um... Let's see. I think the order norm oh wait, this is the scent of the graveyard. Right, right, right. Uh you wanna send the pandemonium, I think. Probably usually. Um, it's been so long since yeah. I played this, but I I, I vaguely yeah, yeah. remember that yeah. <laughs> being the thing. I used to I I learned this from um talking with Khaled from Duel Links, who liked this deck a lot. And then I watched like one pack TCG video. Mm. Uh, and then it makes you an expert. Yeah, and then every time when I went first, I ended on Butler and the Link Four. Which, to be fair, cool. I, I, I gotta say, I feel like that's pretty, that's pretty poggers, right? Yeah, not a lot of people, yeah. not a lot of people did that. Um, I think in this situation, I go for prank. It's been so long. I really should have played like a single game in this deck before. <laughs> oh god. Okay, then we go for this guy, I remember. And now we activate the effect. Tribute ourselves. And I want the spell back. And I want the name to discard for pranks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then right. I activate pranks. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm not gonna lie though. I, I, I've lately I've had such a strong wave of nostalgia for early Master Duel specifically. You know where the card pool was. Oh, I can't afford to have every hand trap that I would want to play. So instead, I'm playing Cosmic Cyclone because Eldritch oh, is yeah. in the meta. <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> which like it's scuffed. They were simpler times. Yeah. Those. I wouldn't say that they were better, right? Like obviously there are there yeah. are there are some problems, but 
I do have a strong wave of nostalgia for those days. Yeah. Yeah, the skill drain unlimited. Uh there was vanity's emptiness. Yeah. There were a lot of fun cards, you know. Um Yeah, you know. <laughs> but they tried. They tried. Um <laughs> Which doesn't matter which one I go for, I guess I I can just grab the other twos afterwards. Uh, and then I'm going to proceed to set three cards. It's gonna be my turn. Wow. By the way, I did, um... Oh, wait, I didn't count. Oh, shit. Uh, it should be fine. Surely it's fine. I don't need green. I can just get rid of the extra cards, right? Yeah, just shuffle them. Get those... Set those guys back in there. Mm-mm. Plus mm -hmm. one. <laughs> I don't think I did plus six, but I tried. But yeah, I did, um... I did a poll, or it was like a prediction for a very short amount of time, uh, uh, to see what chat would vote, who would win the best of three of best of threes, and uh, I have fourteen percent of the votes. But admittedly, there were like three wow. people who voted. So <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay, I got one well. voter, you got two voters, but you know. So if you lose, uh, you're gonna you're gonna disappoint two people. I'm sorry, two people. Oh, this actually has a solo mode. Holy, yes, this guy's playing a solo mode deck. Okay, I, I did think about this, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Eh, <laughs> eh. I mean, it's not bad. I'm just wondering what you're planning to end on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> do you have you a plan for that? Oh, I do. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, no, I don't like... <laughs> Whenever you go confident, I'm like, mm, I don't know. That's not, that's not good. I was hoping for, like, a meandering answer, you know? Uh, I'll also go ahead and summon Taya. Oh, wait! Uh, oh, I do remember Sorso being kind of legal. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, Pandemonium. Okay. I summon the butler. I'm really sad. I'm pretty sure I disenchanted one of my two butlers when they hit stuff. I was like, I don't need a second one. <laughs> it's not gonna come up. And then whenever I whenever I play like funky formats, I'm like, I could play some prank kits. Prank kits pretty fun. Time on the round has been called. <laughs> if my girl well, he doesn't have the girl, okay? He just has this stuff. Um. Yeah, I guess that's fine. that's fine. Summon to the board. Wait until I activate for in Kazan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's sorry, a, <laughs> that's a callback to um. Uh, when they had the attribute festival or whatever. I played against a guy who... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to mail that. Well, whatever. Um, I played against a guy who... Um, played Prank Kids, and then he furring Kazund me. On... Uh, on... Uh, turn 2, and he hand-ripped me for 4 cards. <laughs> because you can get all the attributes on the field very easily with this deck. So, yeah. When are they gonna unlimit? Uh, oh, no. um... All right, I feel that. That's respectable. Thank you. I respect it too. Um... I'm not sure if In you can a... do a lot about Revolution. my second regek. <laughs> well, uh, I have a Shatana. Oh! Do you have a response? What the frick? Okay, that's that's messed up. Except they can't be destroyed by card effects. Let's go! <laughs> Everybody forgets it. I forgot. To. <laughs> yeah, it's right, the well, bow 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 wow barks. Bow bow. Oh, it affects all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, okay. or at least the. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it just for the rest of a turn, right? Uh, prank monsters you control can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, nice banish from the hand. 
true and real. Do, 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 do. Uh, I mean, you can you can summon more. You know, it's it's fun. Okay. I'm okay with you summoning more. Yeah, just burn that extra deck. <laughs> then again, I say right. that and you have two cards used. It's like, oh, wow, that's really impressive. Well, two cards from the extra deck burnt. That's crazy. I guess I commit to it. Kind of don't want you attacking over my my, my lamp mm. I think I will, though. God. It's not a. <laughs> to be fair, a good spot. I feel like you're. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you're not exactly in the best position right now. I will say that. Considering that I have pranks on field already, which will recycle the the fusion in the end phase. Yeah. Well, I think it's only my end phase, admittedly. Yeah, it would be kind of crazy if it drew every turn, but. Okay, so my draw during my last sun phase was place, so I can search another name. I'm not even sure which one I want. I guess this one. Uh, sad part, as we all know, they did limit. Uh, they yes. did limit the the the, the cat. <sighs> but it's okay. I'll be honest though, I don't think that really changes much. <laughs> in this situation, <laughs> not really. Well, I guess overall in general either, which is just so much more of a reason for... Can you please unlimit this card? It's not going to break the meta, come on. Stop pretending that it is doing anything except making a bad deck even worse. Um... Yeah, sure, let's summon this. Uh, oh wait, do I even have targets? I don't think I have targets. Monka Giga. Yeah, I, I ran out of targets. <sighs> oh well. Um, yeah, sure, I can just search for a second copy. Ho ho ho. And, uh... Yeah. Mm. I, I'm thinking, can I OTK theoretically? I think I just win the first game onto the <laughs> So to be honest, I don't think it matters if I have DK. I have Regeki well, for for next turn. Okay. I think I think I'm I'm good. I'm good enough here. The only question is do I recycle enemies? I guess I do recycle too, and then I don't have to think about it as much. So I can just grab can grab uh wind and fire. I don't even have to summon because I already have a trait. Yeah, I guess it's protection, but like you're on one card. <laughs> what am I getting here? And then end phase, I can draw another card. I can okay. send this back. I can send. I can send fusion. Oh my god, that scared me. I was like, wait, can I do that? Is this allowed? Okay. Uh, hmm. Ashuna, I think. <laughs> I even have Max C. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, be I just try Geki the board after this, and then I have Lethal on board because I have, like, boosted the. boosted kids. True. I also had two Imperms phase down. I guess I'm giving away a little bit too, information, too much information, but I also don't think. Wow, this guy plays Imperm? That's crazy. Real. And true. Man. I I gotta admit, though. I really miss Frank Kids. <laughs> it's, it's a weird thing to say, but I miss this deck. Do it. Oh, I'm shotgunning it. Don't, don't you worry. Oh, I had another name, I guess. Uh, activating fans is, uh, is sometimes, like, not... Yeah, this late into the game, I don't think it's really worth it. Okay. 
<laughs> Enjoy, gamer. <sighs> okay. That's that's one game in the first best of three for me. <laughs> Do you want the side deck? I don't have a side deck, so I I, I didn't make one either. We can just be in. You miss furry Kazan kids? Yeah. I I kind of forgot about it to be honest, but it's also too meme, I think. I tried playing oh, it in ranked a bit, but the it's it's for Kazan, so it's a card that you can activate when one of each of the four, you know, avatar attributes is on the field. Okay. Um, and then you can choose one of the three effects, which is uh, hand drop two cards from opponent, uh, draw two cards, or I think it's blow up the opponent's board or something. Um, I think something like that. Let me double check my extra. Uh. Oh, it's destroy all monsters, or destroy all spells and traps, or discard two cards from their hand, or draw two cards, Sam. Okay. So it's either a Geki Duster, Pot of Greed, or double Delinquent Duo? I don't know why they went with two, but it's an old, old card. Alright, we'll start with Ecclesiarch. Uh, classic solo mode Ecclesia. Yes. Everyone's favorite. I know for a fact that you don't have Sword Soul Extra cards. Like, they were banned. Because I looked at it as well, since I have them on this account. So I was like, what can I play? I, I think at least most of them. Are all of them banned? I think all of them were banned, right? Um, yeah. But, um... But that doesn't prevent you from synchroing into other stuff. That is true. Mine's legal. Yeah, all, I think all the main deck cards are legal. And also, for whatever reason, Baron, Baron is legal. Which, you know, I kind of expect to see potentially, but... Well, I'll tell you one thing. Baron is not legal. <laughs> oh, wait, is it not? Oh, yeah, no. it's not. I I remember because I was checking... Um, I was checking... Um, like some lists that people were going for with one of the other decks that I I was like, okay, I'm I'm probably gonna b bring this other deck as one of my strong decks. And someone had a synchro engine in it. And I saw it, I'm like, wait, why is this legal? But at the same time, I mean I guess that make that that, that makes sense to play, right? And then I tried to yeah. add it to a deck in the format and I couldn't add it. So oh yeah, right, that's not yeah. legal. <laughs> Or rather, I didn't check it. It, it played the Stardust uh, summon guy, and I was like, okay, well, I can't go into a 10 easily, so... Without I'll that. I'll make drag here. Okay, not a big fan of that, but okay. Alright. No, oh. <laughs> ah, drag it pass, I see. Well, um, Moye got imperved, so we, uh, <laughs> take what we can get. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, anyways, normal summon prank at fanzies. Response. Mm. No. <laughs> you may proceed. Hmm. Oh, Ash come on, man. <laughs> Every time. I don't uh, miss this about playing prank kids. Oh, my lord. Well, you see, Drag Eye protects the Ash Blossom. Um... Okay, let's see if this works. Polymerization. Mm. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> you fool. You've fallen for my trap. For now I can activate Raigeki. I don't have Raigeki. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. I wish I had it right now, but... It was... It was a gambit. Probably a bad one, but... But yeah, this is so unfortunate because now I'm kind of screwed. Because, you know... There's no more Meow Mew. Mm. There's no reason why I should be punished so hard for... You know, getting ashed one time and not being able to protect it. You know, I think I'll uh, go ahead and... Make this a little more fun. <laughs> um, okay, all right. Um, well, you go off, King. All right, thank you. I will. Well, wow. 
Will you play Silver Chord to see new Cruelly animation? Wait, they changed it? Huh? I just wouldn't... Uh, they added the slight wind effect to it. What? They changed animations? Yo, that's... That's unprecedented. Also, why is... Oh, I guess... Are Young Zings a part of, like, the storyline? Um... I, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um... You're not actually link summoning. He's a Frank Vince Moss mean? and you can pull us with you. Hmm. What are you losing here? It's I not see. like you have anything else to activate, to be fair. Like, that if I had Imperm, it would be on the field, probably. Or I would have pre impermed it, rather. Um. All Verm monsters except Sword Soul are legal. Yeah, but like. The idea for the ban list is that it's supposed to be solo gate themed. New animations. Coolia, Transcendsaurus, Meteorus, and Bay Girl. Did the Bay Girl not have an animation before? I don't remember. New mate. Noble Arms, Caliburn. Go ahead and go into everyone's favorite. <laughs> Hand loop for McGee. Oh boy. Yeah. Aha, you fool! You see? My sphere Karibo will stop you. <laughs> hmm. This sucks, man. Why do you have to have drag eyed, bro? No, not you know, fair. we'll get rid of one of those for fun. <laughs> it's oh, not I fair. See. Yeah, I couldn't use it. I needed the um, third material, but I had a freaking trap card in hand instead. Wow, just what I needed. Yeah. It, it negates effects, so I couldn't shuffle the Meow Meow back either. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it would have been fine, but all right, it's 1-1. One, one. This is the one for okay. all the marbles. This one decides... Do we do we flip the coin still, or just... Uh, I guess we didn't talk about it, but I... Uh, I, I feel like you can let fate decide. Okay. Yeah, because like, I, I don't necessarily care if I'm going first or second that badly. I don't know. Do we okay. do we want to have it? I guess we didn't plan it out before. You just happened to win the coin, so you could go first if you wanted to. But um. Okay. The Judah effect. Okay. Response. Max. Hmm. And this fun card called uh, Cross Out Designator. Oh my god, dude. Why Cross Out? Okay. And, um, you know, for good measure, I have this other card that you may be aware of. Um, it's called Triple Tactic Stalin. So now we get to decide, um, do I want a hand rip or do I want to draw two? Hmm. Oh my god. Um... I think given the contents of my hand, I'd, I'd be fine. Uh, there actually, there's a decent chance there's an Ash Blossom. Hmm. What makes you say that? Ash and Maxi go together quite commonly. Um... Uh, mm, mm. I think I'll just look at the hand. Okay, now you'll see why I said why cross oh. out. <laughs> oh man. To be fair, I was thinking, do I risk the gamma? But, uh, 
I did have uh I think I can respond with uh with Bell to Gamma, right? Because it could have an effect that I actually don't remember how the interaction works in that specific case. Ba -ba -ba. I don't remember mm. if you have to have one in the grave for it to be activatable or not. Well, you see, yeah, I don't exactly. But know. I basically have three of the same card in hand, and I have a hand yeah. trap. So, <laughs> you, you, your but choice, I, uh... pal. You can bell gamma. I mean, I know you can if, um, if, um, I can. Yeah, you can bell gamma just period. I'm pretty sure. In general, okay. Um, so you see, I think I'm making Rick over Lurker. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty annoying card. Um, eh, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but... <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> Surprise! I got wow. a prank, kids monster. You want to banish that from a grave, maybe? Uh, no, I think I will commit <laughs> it to remaining graveyard. Okay. It's just a prank. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's just a prank. This feels so unnatural. I remember being taught to protect my kids from Ash Blossom <laughs> in this. <laughs> Uh, but I have to protect from some freaky muscle man instead. Uh, I think? A very muscly man. Yeah, he's very beefy. I think what I do here is... Um... Uh, does it matter? I don't think it matters so much, right? Oh wait, I just get the I don't even have to do anything. Well, I guess I can go for this then. So mm. I actually happened to open a pretty interesting hand, as you saw. Yes. But I top decked a very interesting card as well on top of that. Hey, uh, would a fusion have to be? Have to be <laughs> maybe, game, maybe, right? maybe, yeah. Let's see. Almost like to the drunk. Well, I guess it doesn't matter though. Um, I was thinking maybe I talent straw, but then I was like, well, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like with two cards in this format, I don't know if you can afford to hand rip, but you also didn't know yeah. what else I had, so I, I kind of feel that, I guess. Mm, wait, which one am I missing? Oh, I'm missing wind. I guess when I don't have a good response for, or when I don't have a good card for, uh, kids i should not be i may as well just go for more cards mm. Mm, i see yeah my this... draw is a little bit good <laughs> it's a little bit good oh i actually messed up a little bit with this one but that's okay it's not a big deal but i messed out on a little bit of damage I could have summoned it below the EMZ and then summoned Bark. Bam. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The forbidden effect that allowed you to OTK. A lot of people don't know about it, actually. Uh, I'm thinking whether I want to go for the draw or not. Okay. I probably do. Probably fine. So we can do this, and then I can chain block so you can't even banish from the graveyard. I'm feeling pretty confident that this one's probably gonna go in my favor. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was worried. You had me sweating. You had me sweating so much, sir. 
Okay. That second game looked really bad, and then I, I, I tried to play it cool. I'm like, oh, fate can decide it, hoping that I would go first. But uh, <laughs> but whew, whew, that was a, that was a scary one. All right, we want this, this, and one of these. Oh man, it feels good to play the prank kids again. I watched um a YouTube video. All right, well, uh, <laughs> playing to Regeki. Good luck. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I can play a card. Period. Oh so, no. We'll call it there. Um, I will reveal. So I'm running long one. But I'm only running one long one because um, if you actually look through the legal, like um, for this format, the legal level 10s that are generic, um, you'll find there are like four. Yeah. And um, Ruddy Rose Dragon is arguably the best. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I remember it being legal. Yeah, I was. Uh, that makes sense, to be fair. Yeah, that's understandable. And because you can't play Chisha lines either. Um, to like make an eight and then make a ten or anything. Um, yeah. I feel like that makes that's pretty reasonable. Arguably, I think you could maybe even consider not even playing it. Right? It yeah. does get tuners on the board, but it's like, is it worth it if it's only a counteract play where it's two cards? At that point, you might have had, you know, just hand trap responses or something instead. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, notably, I was also running a. Uh... A few more of the tangies because you know mm -hmm. <laughs> when you don't have uh why so uh, negative okay dude what it's i think that was a joke about you talking about the level tens <laughs> yeah okay but um there aren't too many options um to like fill up the deck i felt like so um i went with more tangies because it's like they're just decent cards and they can help you make like Baxia or Draco Berserker. Um, I was also running um, one of the Link 4 Tenny because. It's an Ultra, um, isn't it? No, it's a, just a super. The, oh. um, you might be thinking of Draco the, Masters. Yeah, the guy it's is. A Link a, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll but, switch um, accounts in the meantime while you, while you talk about your build. Yeah. I was also running Mare Mare. Which is the level seven worm? Yeah, yeah, the mermaid. You can summon yeah, yeah, yeah. off of Yazi because they can just summon three tokens, and then off of that alone, you can link all four off to make um, the link four. That's the Degen combo cool. card <laughs> for your Degen Degen uh, combo with uh, summoning a vanilla monster, basically, kind of Mario Maker, Mario Maker. I could have summoned it at some point, I think, but um, it stops targeting protection and attack protection, which um, doesn't do a whole lot. Mm. So, the reference. Well, I mean, it's a reference to his name, but also in response to what he was talking about, I would imagine. But of course. All right. Uh, so I guess it's. Which deck idea. are we going with? Um, I guess we can go budget next, right? Or wh okay. which one are you more confident in? Uh, I'm like, not sure. It's it's your choice, you know. Like, which one do you think you would? Which option? I mean, would I think more from. I think the like deck I think is gonna do well, but admittedly, it's not <laughs> the newest. Okay. Currently. Yeah, yeah. Mine, um, my, mine had some hiccups, so I kind of I'm not super confident about about my build. I think the deck itself will be decent, but. My build for it. Okay, so we're going for the quote unquote good decks. All right. Yeah, okay. I feel like an Aranak with my prank deck might be better than this, <laughs> but we'll see well, how it goes. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I want to go first. Yeah, yeah. Definitely want to go first. Notably, I double checked the um, carpool, and uh, you may be happy to know that um, all the runic cards are banned. 
<laughs> when you said all the runic, I'm like, Jesus Christ, not this shit again. Okay. <laughs> all right. This one, this time I'm actually playing by the rules, by the way. So I'm activating a card from the solo mode. You can actually get only from the solo. Wow, that's great. Very cool, dude. Yeah. Okay, dude. You may proceed. Okay, pal. Mm. I'm thinking if I wanna... No, I think I just go for this. Um... Hmm. That's a little bit sus. <laughs> I don't think I like that. <laughs> Alright, show me that mm. hand. Mm. Show me that hand. That's a little rude. Oh my god. Bro, what the fr <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> you know, so you see, they left Terror Top legal. Um, and now that it's at three, there are some other cool cards that you can be running with it, and um, we may be seeing those uh, depending on how this oh, game goes. Oh no! Okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. All right. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can we can deal with this. We can deal with this. Hmm. I wonder what that means. All right, petal effect. Mm. The degenerate timeline is this. What do you mean? But it opens three hand traps. I guess you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, I had more than one. I see. Will you be playing into Maxi? I guess is the follow-up question. I mean, uh, that's kind of the <laughs> that's kind of the idea here. Okay. Okay. You might be familiar with this card from the solo mode as well. Indeed. And I think I'll go for this trap card. Also from the solo mode. Wow, look at me. I'm so good at playing solo mode cards. Wow. I can only... I mean... So... Uh, they hit some cards. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately for me. There you go. Uh, I guess I'll princess that. Hmm, I see. But yeah, I feel like this is just a really solid deck in general in a somewhat limited format. Like it's it's pretty decent overall, but I think in this format as well it's kinda not bad, so mm. damn you actually yeah. play Adventure Engine. That's kind of unexpected. Mm -hmm. Oh Thanks my so. god, wait is the legal knight legal? Um, oh it's oh it's well, her, okay. I was like, I don't really... I, I was considering playing Adventure and Prank Kids, but then I realized that, you know... Yeah, I guess I was forced. Yeah. My hand was kind of forced there, to be fair. I probably should have yanked it before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and bounce the set card, you know. What I'm trying to think if it's worth it for me or not. Like, you have some Degen rank 3 stuff, I'm sure, but... What? No. I guess rank we're gonna go, like, Phantom Knight lines. I could steal the Water Enchantress. That could maybe make it a little bit annoying to do. I don't heck it, I'll go for it. I'll try. I'll try it. I'll mm. metagame it a little bit. 
Okay, okay. It isn't called Legal Knight? Okay, listen, that's not... That's not his status, it's his title, okay? He's titled the Legal Knight. That doesn't mean that he's an illegal or anything. It's different. Let me go with, um, you know, I have some prankings of my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, a royal meow meow. Man, this is making me miss prankings, though. God damn it. Yeah, I, when you first played prankings, I was like, wait, this is this is the deck you think, this isn't the deck you think is gonna win? So I, I was a little, uh... Um... <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. do you feel like Rika isn't a good deck though for this? I feel like it's pretty um, strong, right? Maybe it's fine. Um, I also don't know enough <laughs> about the cards. Mm. Um, you know, in addition to having the Royal Meow Mew, um, I will be sending that card. Oh, wow, another wait, huh? You had that all the time, or did you craft it for this and happen to get no, it? No, I, I've I had that. I I've I done been having that. Damn. Damn, this guy's flexing the royals. Rico is really May and XC's event. Well, because they need link monsters as well though. <laughs> Oh, I did some of the second doodle doo. Yep, yep. 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 I guess yep. you can do yep. some elf yep. plays too if you wanted to. Um, I. Actually, Wait, is, is elf, elf legal? legal? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not sure actually. Probably I think isn't. I checked and I don't think. Yeah, it, it probably went, isn't. But I, I, I don't want to say for certain. Um,. Go ahead and use place, get myself, you know, another refrain. Okay, okay. Um, and link these friends off for Bala. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's okay. What? What? I got a YouTube bad again. Oh my god, they're really gonna oh, force no. me to buy YouTube premium. I've I've gotten two YouTube ads. Both of them were while I was streaming. I've gotten two in the last three months. It's horrifying. I love how the ad that went through was the YouTube premium ad. They're like, hey, tired of the ads that you're not getting? How about an ad for Oh, I also free have legal some ad? Other like, stuff. Oh my god, wait. Why is this legal? That is a great question. Um, I mean, I guess if they count the solo gate, like the quote unquote challenge, you know, the challenged one. Challenged? Yeah, the challenged solo gate. And then, uh, you know, I happen to have some spell cards I can, oh you know, my God. pass away. So I, I'll just be drawing two cards here if that's cool with you. It's not, but that's fine. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I think I'll be equipping back this fellow. Um, and, you know, I could extend into more Link plays, but I, I think I'm I think I'm think happy with just this, right? With just what main I got. Phase, as main phase one sets? What the? Well, you see, I'm, I think I don't need to swing into a monster that's going to give itself back to me. Smile. Um... I may regret that, but we, you know, we uh, live in modern. Is that a sonic reference? Is it? Wait, you don't know the live and learn song? Oh, I, I know the. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> what the heck? This guy doesn't know Sonic. All right, you can have your woman back. It's fine. Thank you. I appreciate the woman. That's a little bit rude. Oh, wait. But why did you do that now? <laughs> I, I thought you had a different card. Yeah, I feel like you should have... Um... You really don't know Rika, huh? <laughs> Damn. You're really out here not knowing Rika cards. 
This guy's disrespecting Rick. Stuff. Stuff out I here. I thought you still had the negating group yet. So. No, I didn't. I used both. I used one from the hand and then I used the other one that last turn. Hmm. The adventure top deck was kind of tough for. Did you have that? No, I think you drew into it, right? Um. Yes. I forget if I got it off the maxi or if it was off the turn. Oh, it might have been the extra draw. Yeah, 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 that's true. I did. Give you one unknown card afterwards. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will tribute a monster. Yeah. And I'll get two fours. I don't know how correct this is, but uh, triple tactics talent. I'm going to look at your hand. Hmm. Going to go ahead and fuse. <laughs> uh, surely you don't have all three colors in hand. Oh, uh, well, I know. Um... What would I do have? Um... It's the unstoppable Exodia! Uh... It's Conk on Liga? Oh, well, I mean, it's on the board. I have another cool card you can uh, shuffle back. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, that's fine. That is fine with me. Um, okay, so this card can summon itself for free because it's a modern card and it doesn't suck for a change. Then we also have this really funky card. Okay, so the reason why I wasn't super confident is, um, uh, I had to cut the Sun of Alon stuff because they hit, um, like two cards in the extra deck, which didn't really matter that much. But then they also hit, um, the spell that allows you to summon from the deck. The the twins, mm. like the they hit sowing, they hit sow. I can't believe it. Um, I which means that engine for advantage kind of goes down. I think you could probably, to some extent, still utilize it, but I didn't feel super confident, so I just went, I just went. Uh, you know, I instead of using cards that I was familiar with, I just went with stuff that I've never played in decks before. So, <laughs> you know, the logical decision, the logical. Logical yeah. choice. Intrude. Okay, since we're flexing our royals here, let me flex two. I see. All I right. pulled this when I was pulling for the deck. So that's always a feels good man. Um uh, bing bong boom. I can't tribute it with this though. I'm trying to think if I can get to the... This has to leave the field, right? Hmm. Wait, actually, this could be poggers. Wait, hold up. I could do some poggers stuff here, I think. <clears throat> uh, I think we... With that many cards from top of your deck. Um, actually, do I go for it? I'm trying to think. Stuff. So this one only protects uh, by battle, but you can't even use it right now because your board is too full. By the way, just saying, 
Get punished. Okay. Nice. I nice. Mean, if you get rid of my monsters, I think I'm. I, <laughs> I'm more so just summoning more monsters. Um. I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to go for. I could go for the follow-up one that's a monster negate, or I could go for Gumba Bouncer stuff, or I could go for Tribute a card. Which, to be fair, isn't really that great here, I feel like. Mm, I guess negate is probably the way. I'm trying to remember. I think that... Jasmine effect is summoned from the deck is once per turn. If you gain life points, once per turn if you gain... Yeah, okay, so the search isn't... The search isn't... Hard once per turn. Okay, so... Oh, whoops, I was supposed to... Well, I guess I can do it. I can search two more cards! Woohoo! I see. <clears throat> yeah, this deck is kind of crazy, by the way. Just so, maybe it's worth looking into this. I mean, at this point, I don't know, but then again, nothing really has been hit in Master Duel for it, right? So I think really the combo decks it. just all go first. But yeah, well, I mean, this one. The nice thing about this deck is that it can go second, though. Um, question is, do I want to make? Do I want to make anything else? Uh, like I could tribute and then make an eight, or I could go for the bouncy bounce. If I go for tribute, <clears throat> I feel like it's kind of samey, isn't it? I'll just go for this. Let me just read. Sorry, by the way, I'm taking a bit of, bit of time. I'm reading some of these cards. <clears throat> During the main phase, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Inkle to its attack, and if you do... Uh, return it to the hand. Uh, I can out this, that, and this one. Africa, I'm making the, I'm making the, the waifu card. I'm making the waifu card. You can't stop me. I remember when they released Rikun Duel Links. And I desperately tried to make it work. I think I did get to COG afterwards. As a rank 6 turbo. Mm. But oh my god. The timing couldn't have been worse. Because they released it when Blue Eyes was actively being played. And, uh, <clears throat> let me tell you, uh, it's not a good time when, oh, actually, I'm not sure, I think I get rid of these, I should have thought a little bit more about it, but it's okay. <clears throat> it's not a good time when you have to rely on the snowdrop effect to populate your field, but uh, you can't use her effect because they have a synchro monster on the board that prevents you from, you know, that prevents you from hacking, uh, summoning two monsters at the same time, which is exactly what that card does. Mm. I see I made the mistake of going second. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> All right, well. Well, I mean, you say that, but I, it's not like I made a crazy board, right? I feel like... I feel like the maxi did deter me. I ended on... It's just that I happened to open two princess, to be fair. Alright. You know what? Right. I feel like we can probably choose if we lose. So you can choose if you want to uh, go first or right. second. This probably makes more sense. I, I, I regretted saying it before, so... Okay, well... All right. The coin always <laughs> favors you, I guess, after the first game. It is what it is. Um, okay. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Okay. I'll just go ahead and activate Faithful Adventure. 
That's cool with mm -hmm. you, friend. Been nerfed what grows in the graveyard right. the week before Rick released too. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember when their argumentation the was did. uh we are reducing the power level of this skill in anticipation of uh, future plant support. Oh boy. That oh, future plant support man. though. No activate okay. Hmm. I see. All right. Well, uh, I got some now. This fellow. Maxi! Go! Win me the game! Oh, come oh, on, man. bro. What the frick <laughs> is this again? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Uh, mini games. Don't you just love them? What do you um, always have crossed out in hand? Now I will go ahead and do this fun thing called chain blocking. Well, I, <laughs> I, I don't really care because it's not like you can do anything. All right. But full transparency here. My hand does not exactly allow for interaction. I really needed that. I really needed that max C to resolve. All right. It was very vital that it would resolve. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, if it isn't Mr. Doggy and the Wildest Cowboy of West, oh my god, it's Sean. Hello, Sean. Hello, Sean. Yeah, we're just uh, um, playing the new event before it's out. To be honest, that just makes me think, oh yeah, I'm gonna get to do five accounts and I'm doing extra duels beforehand. <laughs> but okay, to be fair, it's significantly different playing these with friends than it is to play it in the event and be like, oh, I didn't open the hand, guess I go next game. Oh, I won the coin flip open good hand, guess I got 500 points. Man, you're like consistently opening the busted adventure prank, adventure well, prank can. You might find know. that, uh, these cards are, <laughs> I'm running cards to enable these as well. I mean, okay, sure, but nice. still. Not gonna lie, I feel like this is kind of a custom hand. You had adventure stuff, you had a prank kid name, you had cross out for a hand trap, like what gives? I mean, I did you may find that, but you may also find I'm running a lot of the extenders that enable these hands, right? Like Yeah, I mean obviously running, um... there's a lot of starters, but still you like you opened one for each of those pieces, you know? You have yeah. an adventure piece, like... you have the Terror the top, piece. there's also... Mm. Um, right now I'm thinking about... Where do I want to summon my monsters zone-wise? <laughs> um, oh man, this guy has too many monsters, what a problem. Too many monsters on the board, oh no. What a tragedy. Um, I think I'll banish Magician Souls. Special summon. Yeah, out. I could see that. <laughs> I could see that being fine. This fellow, um, I'm trying to think what I could top deck to play, and it's I'm I'm really struggling here. Thank God, at least you don't have the Griffin Rider. That would make things even worse. Yeah. I feel like, like oh, free negate, woohoo! I'm gonna link these two fellows for oh ID. Oh my God. You may proceed, friends. Okay. I just have to top deck 
the craziest card in my deck. That's all I have to do. No, but really, I feel like it, there's not a single card that just... <laughs> that just notes this. Oh, this card definitely doesn't help. <sighs> okay. Um, battle phase? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, end of ba- Bro, what the frick? You're supposed to- you're supposed to respect my cards. I don't. Let's see. Um. Man. Hmm. So if I go ahead and use this, oh friend. Oh my god. Um... <sighs> Alright, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to use like the prank kit names for uh for free material? I think that seems pretty good. Um if I, I fuse off the prank kit names, I can't. Oh wait, summon... you're... yeah, yeah, pandemonium locks. Right, 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 right. Um okay, this man tossing royals left go. and right. Okay, dude. Wow. I'll draw a card, why not? Right, so cool, you get the draw a card too, yeah. Go ahead, use this friend effect. Um, let's just get the palace back. Oh, wow. Man, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, this always sucked when it happened. I really don't like that you have a response card. Man, why? But you see, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse this. Oh my, wait, what? I don't know, it's gonna be another one of those small ones, Weather Washer, instead of Rocket mm. Ride. I know, I know how this works. You're just pretending to have good stuff. You don't actually have good stuff. Yeah. I think I'm okay with that. Um... I mean, to be fair, you have a little bit of card advantage here, yeah. <laughs> yep. Just a little bit. Um... Uh, I was considering maybe I should have kept it, but surely you didn't open that good. It was just the weather. Oh, come on, man. You're kidding me. Oh my god, dude. These, these cards are not it. That's so tough. No, I can't really do anything with these. Alrighty. Um, is that game if I like keep it on board? I think it, it probably it. doesn't matter too much, but it actually does matter because the card you shuffled back into my deck was the very card that I just top decked. Behold, <laughs> the second <laughs> oh, called by the grave. <laughs> oh no, all right. Well, it'd be like that, I suppose. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it really matters though. You you should be. I feel like you probably can roughly imagine what my back row lineup is in this deck. So you know, it 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 doesn't really do all all that much if mm. I have nothing on the board. It kind of isn't all that great. Uh. Do you have a response? I do have tech. I technically have a response. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it really matters. I'm scared to grab this. Mm. 
Rigged? Rigged? Yeah, oh. it's always rigged. I win the first game, Neg wins the second game, and then it's and then it's down to the wire on the third game. Someone out. Um, chain link one. Firing of night. Yeah, we're uh we're playing the new event format, kind of, sort of, I suppose. Oh, oh, the burn damage also matters out. so much in this. Oh God. Finish. Uh, this one, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that really, uh, really makes me feel better about this whole situation. Mm, I think I'd go with this friend. Now, you have a response. I mean, I do, but uh, nothing that's relevant. Okay, well, Direct. To be fair, I did have a chance to like maybe do something uh, with the hand that I had because I had two cold buys and I also had a cross out. But, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you didn't, didn't do the thing that you're supposed to do as a prank kid player, which is tag out immediately to set up your follow up. Um, well, you see, um, is evenly matched legal in this format? It is, um, I think, isn't it? It is? I'm pretty sure. I thought I, I looked and I didn't see okay. it. I mean, let me check. Is it? I feel like it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's Forget legal. It, I, it is? <laughs> yeah, it is legal. Okay, oh, so this guy right. freaking... Uh, admittedly, my draws were... Well, you were... better have it. Well, actually, my draws... My, my draws... Uh... Yeah, I don't know my draws because you shuffled the card back that I drew. Yeah. If I top decked into... The... Um, Wait, the what are we one... doing? Oh, we... I'm, go I'm going first. I'm going first. Okay. Um, If I top decked into the level 1 in main phase 1, I could have searched for the field searcher, and then I could search for the field, and then I could search for the... For the search spell, and then I could, you know, tribute your card off, and then I could make a thing, but... But that was like a very big okay, if, right? Well, I did have a couple yeah, it of copies It was a fun game. It. Oh, no. Okay. You're saying you won because your hand is too good? Is that it? Is that I'm, the saying, I'm waiting for uh, talents to come down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talents. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what what is the oh uh, the classic. I know this hand. To be fair, that's not even that bad a hand, right? It's like one card away, one card removed from potentially being. Well, then again, I see. don't know. I guess. I mean, I'm also running a lot of. Um... Oh, okay. Well, fuck <laughs> me. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean you have you have top decks. No, I don't. Don't lie. <laughs> you, you, you have top There's decks. There's literally nothing. I have one card in hand. I have They're top drawn. decks. Uh, it's fun. We we flipped the coin. Let's just be well, honest. Yeah, here. but before you. You act too dramatic about this situation. I actually don't have that good of an endboard here. My my endboard is not gonna be too impressive. It's gonna be the well, actually. I don't believe that. Hmm. Actually, I might have to play it differently. Maybe it's gonna be epic. <laughs> no, it's just because I don't have a. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can. Not sure if I can get where I want to right now. Mm. I mean, it has to be. It has to be a search for the searcher. Uh. 
Uh, I guess it's gonna be a pretty good board, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, I guess it's gonna be pretty good for the format. Wow. <laughs> but it's for the format, okay? It's one of the reasons why I thought that this was a decent pick, because even when you have an underwhelming board for this deck in general, it's still like three interactions, right? I negate a card, I tribute a card, and then I set up a negate. It's like, yeah, that's pretty good. Like, that's, that's not bad at all. I didn't get to do everything that I wanted, but this is still... It's still respectable, you know? Mm, I wish I had one more card, but... Alright. Okay, no mercy. Though maybe I'm giving you a chance with this one. Okay, no gamma, no well, gamma. No, no gamma. Um, Does my inboard include Maxi? Shh, that's supposed to be a surprise. That's that's the epic surprise at the end. Um, Christian, did you draw something that's not a prank kid name? <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> That's so sad. It's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess I can add this. Yeah, I kind of have everything. I drew into this. All right, so. well... Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking. All right. Yeah. All right. I won the best of three of best of threes. We still have one more deck to go for, though. The okay. one where I expected it to be a mirror match. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not sure what deck you think it is, but uh, I, I, I mean, I guess the fact that you're saying that implies that it's not going to be a mirror match. But uh, I, I thought it was kind of a universally expected deck, but. Yeah. Never doubt. I mean, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the cheap deck, air quotes, I also included some stuff that I was like, all right, well, this is. These aren't like necessary for the deck, but like they can be added in, right? Okay, I'm getting so, nonstop ads. What the frick? I need to refresh, or clear my cache for my ad block, I think. All right. <clears throat> See how this one goes. Uh, I okay. opened another Gumba for the budget duel if you guys want a Gumba. It's like 40 seconds left. To be fair, my build might be a little bit scuffed, so that, just a fair warning, this one might be worse than the other decks. Yo, my hand's lit. My hand's my crazy. Hand is, uh, it is what it is. I will start by activating Tanky. Oh. Here's the response. Okay. Uh, is Zodiac legal? Wait, Tri Brigade? Wait, what? All the Tri Brigades are uh, normals and rares, as you may find. Well, I mean, sure. I don't think rarity is really the... I don't think the rarity is quite the, the issue that I'm raising here with this situation. Um... Wait, what? How are you winning the next? How are people trusting you again? <laughs> oh wait, that's the previous one. Never mind. Oh, okay. I think nobody. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Seventy-nine to twenty-one now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the champion difference. <laughs> I won the last best of three. So even ancient warrior link is gone for them. Yeah, that I mean that's reasonable though, no. Oh wait, you're saying NR because it's the budget up, right? Yeah, sorry, I yeah, I <laughs> I kind of yeah. I kind of bugged there, I guess. Um, all right, well, I think we're not playing the same deck. <laughs> I think I think we aren't no. playing the same deck. 
but you might find that my my deck is very budget friendly. To be fair though, I'm not super confident in where I even want to interrupt you. Like, what even is your game plan? <laughs> like, what do you want to do here? I did notice that um, Diviner and, and Friends were legal. However, um, I elected against it because I didn't feel like any of the ritual decks were quite so mm. impressive. Or... <laughs> confidence. No confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm really curious as to what your end board is. I I guess I didn't really delve super deep into the link um the links that were legal. I I only looked at some of the ones I had, and I was like, wow, this is mostly underwhelming, except one card that I actually accidentally included. In, well, accidentally, quote unquote. I guess my extra deck doesn't really matter that much, but it does happen to contain ninety percent alterers, which uh I I would probably have to reformat that, or maybe I just don't summon them. Uh, but I will mention a card that I included, even though it doesn't fit the criteria here, so I won't summon it if it comes to that. But I feel like BLS uh, Link isn't too bad if your deck can summon it again in like a weird limited that format. Right? Speaking of random Link 3s with like... Wait, yeah, yours also an a... ultra... Wait, hold up, wait. <laughs> wait, yours also, also an ultra rare. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Wait a minute. These are, I think, two of the few ultra rares in the entire deck, other than, you know, Staples. I think. Then again, I say that and I have Diviner, so. To be fair, Diviner could be cut. I shouldn't have searched it. Hmm. Shoot. I feel like maybe our. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have like three main deck ultra rares, and you're probably at like two to three as well, I would imagine. Well, besides the Staples, obviously, right? Yeah. Um. Mm. There's Avian. I would check my list to see what else. Um, mm, I think I let that through. <laughs> this is where I send Entis. And then you get to pop kit. Yeah. <laughs> Every man's dream. All right. What do we have? Um. <laughs> I realize they don't include uh, an extra target to thinking it through. I think I had a better play. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this works out. See. Another search. I kind of messed up. I don't even have a target for Diviner, so I feel like that's a cut or a budget option. I think you, like, you, you, they're effectively just Senju's anyways, so you could just play Senju instead of her. Especially if you don't play something for her yeah. as a tribute target. Um, what's the wording on this card? Um, hmm, I see, I see. I think it's exact on this one, though. Mm. It's actually a little bit awkward, <laughs> but it's okay, I guess. Um, I guess my better but uh, better judgment, you may proceed. <laughs> All right. Um. um I think it has to be that. 
It's crazy how a lot of these cards aren't once per turn. I don't know what they were thinking when they made them, <laughs> but... I mean, they were thinking something, I guess. Uh, activate effect. <laughs> Response uh, question mark. Avian, I guess. Yeah, so full does have once per turns, but you know. Um... Yeah. I think I can afford to go attack, honestly. <clears throat> you do get a search, but it's like you get a search for a card that probably, you know, does the same thing as the card on the field, so might as well get rid of it. That is fair. What were they thinking? You know, you're refer you're referring to that? I don't think I've ever watched a full angry video game nerd video. I I did watch like a lot of that era type of videos at one point when I found them on uh, online growing up when I was like very much a wee, wee child but I don't think I ever watched Angry Video Game Nerd I think I thought mm. he looked really lame <laughs> and that was that was the reason I'm like damn this guy's lame I like the nostalgia critic he's very cool he likes well, movies so added the terror talk Okay, all right, that's cool. I guess it's not it's just cool. a good generic card. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not complaining about the fact that you're playing it. I'm more so like, God damn it, he has it again. <sighs> Go ahead. Would you care to disrupt? Not yet. I'm just trying to think. Like, what do you realistically? What do you realistically, uh... Realistically summon... I'm gonna do something against my... My wishes here, but... I don't think I can protect it. Faith or I see. Alright. Um... No. Okay. Let me just think this through for a moment. I'm playing my Earth Machine deck for the event. My Earth Machine deck? Wait, what is my Earth Machine? What do you mean Karakuri? <gasps> Wait! Oh my god, we even ha I even have like the background music of this on that playing right now. Oh. That is technically a deck, you're right. Super Heavy Samurai. Yeah, Super Heavy Samurai. Um, if I go to, okay, I think I have my line, I think, yes, all right. All right, <clears throat> after this though, I'm gonna take out my yours from the extra deck. Because I just oh. like included them by default. I was looking, what could I stuff in at the end? I'm like, uh, Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, which is an ultra rare. Uh, Exiton Knight. <laughs> just like, you know, Redoer, okay. yeah. <laughs> like a lot of people might have those cards, but it's not really a very budget option, so. Light Insect? Wait, what is Light Insect? I mean, I do have Insects, but. It wasn't in the three, three base decks. Oh, digital bugs? Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting for the digital bug support, to be honest. They really need it. They kinda need it. Alright. Admittedly, some of these cards I like included into the deck because I was like, I don't know what else to include. <laughs> so yeah, that sounds about right. Oh Four my little. god! Okay, yeah, that card's kind of good. I will, I will, I would cry, but I guess we can say three. 
I will probably, in my build, cut down, like, to as few URs as possible, but... Yeah. Because, as I said, like, I, I built it thinking, oh, it's a budget deck, but then I... I don't know, I, I, I rushed it so much that I didn't really, while building it, think about the fact that it's like, oh, wait, this is supposed to be budget, like, entirely, right? Yeah. Admittedly, I... I made the main deck, and I was like... All right, wait, hold on. Yeah, I mean, for my extra deck especially, that's like also, as I said, it's mostly, I have like Nightmare Griffin, Unicorn, IP, freaking yeah, Teardrop uh... Ricker Queen, like, frick it, I can make it, I guess. Because I think there's just not a lot of good low rarity, I mean, there's in general not that many good extra deck cards, but especially the low rarity cards, I think, are yeah, kind of lacking impact. We're waiting for Dragon Maid support so it can be Tournament 2.0. I don't think there would be Tournament 2.0 if they... Oh, come on, man! <laughs> oh my god, this dude. Yink. <laughs> this guy's freaking do... He, he'll do anything to not lose a budget. Hey guys, I'm just saying, he has two Ultra Rares on the board. Quick, hide my Diviner in the hand. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if I'd be summoning these. <laughs> but I just threw them in. Because, uh... I can't believe this guy's going guys against the Code of the Samurai. Oh my god, I don't even need her. And a side note, I tried to like designate what was budget and what was like the good deck after. <laughs> so yeah, I, I admittedly, yeah, that's also uh, because I built the three my decks and I was like, when one of these has to be budget. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I won't run yeah. as much ultra stuff. I did, I did come and, up uh, with that idea at the very end, admittedly. It's not like we had planned to- oh, actually, I should have kept this probably on the board. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe. <clears throat> I feel like, though, I mean, especially assuming that you're gonna keep abusing Dexter, like, I feel like... It's probably not that hard to out this. Probably. <laughs> I could see some yeah. budget options that could also out it though, admittedly. Beat stick turbo? I mean it's basically beat stick turbo plus um plus mm. pop X amount of cards turbo, which I mean it's decent in most formats that aren't dominated by you know, super heavy samurai. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't look good, I will admit. What do you mean? But, um... Normal Summon Maxi is a classic. I think it might be uh, one of my few options. So I will be going for it. One of the cool cards that was, you know, just chilling in hand. Yep. I will draw. Okay, well, I don't... I think that one card's dead. Um... Alright, well, you know. Well, it's not like I really have a lot I can do right now either, but let's yeah. see how that goes. I, f I think I only have like one or two top decks that could work, unfortunately, because of the. the. Yeah, uh, Link Arrows, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Bro, freaking ads, man. Stop. Stop. 
Stop. Thinking Stop. it through. Maybe I should just include more. Uh, nightmares? Yeah. Yeah, the well, normal nightmares are yeah. pretty good. I mean, there's also, from extra deck cards, uh, Pit Knight Early is a decent budget card. Uh, what can I do with this? Not big enough. Enough either. Yeah. I can't really <clears throat> I can't really make anything that's able to out here because I can't activate the fricks anymore. <laughs> Yes. Is Zanamondo banned for that event? Actually, good question. I should have checked that as well. I, I feel like I would have added it if I saw it, and I don't remember oh, okay. seeing it, but I might have missed it. Like the ritual link to... Um... Oh, the one that... The link to that says including a ritual? Yeah. Hmm. Uh... Now we play floodgates. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess technically I can... <laughs> yeah, but I can't because I don't have a thing. I could, like, wait, and then you have to top deck a freaking... Or you have to have a trap card. I guess that's my only option. <laughs> <clears throat> Not really, really leaving me much choice here, are we? Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think, do I run trap cards? It's like Imper, maybe? That's what I'm, that's my only hope here. Oh, there might be Imper. I, I don't remember, but it, it might actually be in there. All right, let's see. Come on, Imper. Oh, well. Well. I don't think that's going to really do much. Well, <laughs> I drew a called by really? off of well, the called by, so the more things, uh, something, something, something. Yeah. Okay. I will say you kind of cheated, but I need to. I would need to adjust my extra as well. Admittedly. Yeah. 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 I guess we don't bother changing it right now. Since those cards yeah. did come up, but uh, <clears throat> to make it more budget, I would definitely change my list. I think I can make it with no yours, to be honest. Because again, I don't think the, um, I don't think the normal summons need to be the the girls because like, there's not that many special summons that are worth it. I guess there's the cyber angel, the like petite angel, and then you can search for, you could search for um, what you might call it. The uh, the Benton from the deck, but it's like, eh, I don't really need it, right? Just there. Hmm. Would I ash this? Um, hmm. <laughs> you know, given the consistency of uh, ritual decks, I think I will like to go for it. Now, will I regret this when Maxi comes? Possibly. All right. Well, <laughs> well, admittedly, I think there's a lot of car a lot of hands in this deck that wouldn't mind the sash. This is not one of those hands. So okay. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of needed, I kind of needed this to go through. Um. It's actually not even that great of a card to have. Hmm, OPO, okay. I mean, I'd say when, when you get to OPO, things get easier. Yeah, it's it's mostly like, I'm thinking about... Uh, we'll, you go we'll for get there full, go for Hagrid, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Also, I feel like as far as um, Ashes are concerned, I think the Quick Play is probably higher impact, right? 
or, or wait, no, I guess it doesn't tribute for cost. Now, never mind, never mind. Yeah, because it's a ritual nonsense. Maybe it was better to go other route. I'm not really like getting value off of it. Mm. The thing is, like, I would, I wouldn't mind, <laughs> I wouldn't mind summoning a different card here, but um, it's gonna be really awkward when I end on that. If I go for fours, I can attribute that. That's another two. Then I can get it back again. Just have more bodies on the board. That doesn't sound bad. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I've seen people do that. I, I don't think it's necessarily great or anything, but it's something, right? Okay. Or I could just search for... I'm I'm thinking between um, Hagit and uh, Ophiel here. Or like mm -hmm. either do I search for an 8 or do I search for the quick play again then I recycle from the grave? I guess it's better to summon another copy and then recycle from the graveyard, right? Well, that Probably. is the decision for you to make. Alright, well, I guess I'll make the decision then. Again, kind of wild that a lot of these effects are not hard ones per turn. You just get to do this stuff. They're like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait, I didn't use this guy's ritual effect. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's that's uh, that's why you good play, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um. Do you run like the field spell? I do run a copy of it. it? Yeah. Okay. I think it's not bad. It's it. I was actually playing two of it, thinking of like, okay, maybe there's gonna be a removal, but but it's kind of a bad draw, and that's all though. It's just nice to have after the fact because it allows you to keep, you know, having a shit ton of resources. Alright. I pay I play a copy um, of the trap card as well. Let's go ahead and start with this little friend. Okay, okay. Send this out. <laughs> I Next must admit awesome. though, your budget deck has an awful lot of vultures. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a staple. Yeah, I mean it's okay. Again, like it comes down to the fact that you had already built your decks when I when I came with the proposition uh, late at night yesterday. But but still, it's it's somewhat amusing. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'm gonna... Hmm. Well, you get to see the card I drew for a turn. Oh my god, this guy. Guess I'll have to just summon it already. Because I had the good setup. Feels good, man. I mean, technically I could have played around the... Oh wait, no, I think it doesn't designate which attributes on the remand. Yeah. Or yeah, so well, I would have had I to guess at this point you guy. have to attribute another thing. Right? Yeah, like it it you choose and tribute afterwards. So I was like if I get rid of it. But yeah, you don't actually do anything with that. Um okay, we're gonna go for the pop on this, and then we're gonna go for recycle. <laughs> And it's kind of wild, though, how Megalith is just perpetually 
solid an event. Also, I'm not trying to make a pun. That was accidental. <laughs> that was not on purpose. The I pun swear. council will uh, judge you. Um, gonna... What am I going to play for the event? Well, this is one of the decks that I'm looking at, potentially. I feel like it's pretty decent. Um, it's in a maxi delay. <laughs> I don't know. Might be a draw. I kind of think it is. Um, um I'm counting my names. Image one, two. Um, I just gotta send it. Well, <clears throat> kind of have to, uh, you know, you know what they say. Uh, actually, I don't know if they have a analog version for this saying in English. Mm, I mean, there's probably something similar. It's like you you get what you pay for would be the easiest thing that I could come to my yeah. There's an English saying for that. Um, yeah, no, that that's the English saying that I'm thinking. But oh, okay. The one that I'm thinking is like, um, kind of like what comes around goes around would be closer to it, I guess. In in its intent. Probably wait, is Gnome not working or is it just off on the screen? I think it's just off on the screen. <laughs> Love how you spam it five times, it's like, oh wait, it didn't work. Let me see if I if I can turn it back on. I think I just removed it from oh no, I guess I do have it here. Um okay. All right, I'll I'll play them for you. Don't worry. Uh... Oh wait, now this was. Uh, no, was this fine? Might be fine. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's so wild also how Trivergate locks you into using only the tri-types, but then you can summon whatever the frick you want. It's just like... Interesting yep. design choice. Would I feel mm -hmm. like it would make a lot of sense for them to lock you to the... to the tri-types as well for the summons, but... Hey, they, they didn't feel that way, I guess. Yeah, Konami felt a little different about it. Um... Um, hmm. There are decisions to make here. Um, okay, okay. You think you're gonna do Tenny? Yeah, Nick did try Tenny as his uh, funky duck. Lost to prank it, though. <laughs> Admittedly, I got a little bit lucky. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Well, that's just perfect. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> uh, I might be. Um. And you have a searchable counter trap? They do! That counter trap is uh, also usable to cheese out funny extra deck cards. Like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I was unfortunately one card off of ending on um, Griffin Phoenix, which would be. Um, Actually, if I ran um, the Bear Brum, I could have done it, but like, I didn't, or mm. I don't. 
because I can't use two Farragut to make the uh, Griffin, unfortunately. Oh, it's two so, different uh, names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, Revolt is illegal, so I was like, well, if re there's no Revolt. Do I need <laughs> Bear Brum? But I guess the answer is yes. Oh, I can't use the effect. Like, it's so annoying, bro. This the goddamn floodgates again. <laughs> when in doubt, flood them out. Uh, goddamn, I can't even. I can't even set up the arrows with uh early because she points up to <laughs> upwards. All right, all right. Goddamn goober. This freaking floodgates. Well, the nice thing about this deck is that um, very easy said. to just make really big beat sticks. Yeah. Notably, uh, a big monster that can just kill without activating its effect does pretty well into a grip. <laughs> what about five big monsters? It's always funny to see a random card like Diviner be a 7,000 attack. My effects. You will free my effects! You will give them back to me! I guess it was lethal just attacking your <laughs> Yeah, it was a... Uh, yeah. Unnecessary attack. I also drew another Maxi, by the way. Very cool. And to play Gold Pride Punk. In general, or in the vent punk are hit really hard, but uh, yeah, I mean, they are a little bit on the prissy side. Oh, we have one more. I was like, I, I yeah. felt so, I felt so like accomplished after this win. I'm like, oh, what a win. And I'm like, oh, wait, we're in a best of three, right? <laughs> right. And I still have to win. Oh, do you want to go first or second? I'll go first. Always and forever. <laughs> Damn. Do I still play Duel Links? I do, yeah. This month really has been awkward for me, though, to um to do Duel Links stuff because of the box release timing. Like, the New Year's uh, time for, for Hype wasn't really, you know, the the best for me. Uh, well, that's a little rude. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's how we do things here. Um, and then afterwards, you know, then the hype kind of also died down, so it's like, you know, a little bit awkward. Um, can I draw into an epic, epic card? <sighs> I might be able to. But yeah, and then like the selection box is like I'm I'm not buying selection boxes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not buying that shit. How do you feel about the exclusives from the latest one? By the way, they're really good. Yeah, and I'm not super stoked are, about it. Are are you um like do you do you feel that um I'm not sure which one I want to send here. I mean, I guess I only need one target anyways, right? Uh. Do you feel that uh, Droplet is all that great in the game besides like uh, uh, Life Twin right now? I think a number of decks want it. Um, Mayakashi is also pretty uh, good with it because you kind of need it to beat Dwellers. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I can I can see that, I guess, yeah. Because... My reasoning was, I don't think it's nearly as impactful in, in Duel Links as it is in, like, DCG meta, because obviously there's not as many cards that could just, you know, negate negates in Duel Links, so that aspect mm -hmm. of uh, Droplet is mostly lost. Mm. But but I guess Quick Effect lingering Floodgate of Dweller kind of might sort of make sense, yeah. Um. Well, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, this guy has it again. All right, okay. I, I I searched it, but yes. Oh yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I guess you did get to search it out of everybody, but you had a discard target, girl. Um.
Only two. Oh yeah, I guess you haven't used the Fergie effect, true. I was like, hmm, why not just go directly into the bird? I realized why not. But then again, I don't know, like, is it worth it for you giving me that many draws? That's kind of... Well, you see, I kind of need to do a little more than uh, what I would usually want to. Um... Oh, that's a little bit of an awkward bird spot as well. I'm thinking if I make Griffin. <laughs> oh god, this guy and his floodgates. What's there to say? It's just really strong. Um... <laughs> it's like every game is just surfing out the, the griffin. I'm kind of glad though that um, I think Master Duel never really um, I don't think we ever had like a griffin meta per se, right? There were a couple metas where you could opt to summon it, but I don't think it's it was not necessarily... linked. Oh god! Yeah, you're not linked. Let's go. You could have made um the smart uh, manually by using the or. Using the Nerval and the, the Fairy Jeet to make it in the EMC. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. Because, also, um, now I have arrows. I don't know. I feel like this is not worth it for you. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. The only thing that's turned off is like the full in the side, and that's it. I could even go for the pop, to be honest, and then go for more. But, or I could just make a lot of big. Big guys happen. Mistakes were made. Yeah, I guess um, I Nerval summon out of three, and then I can manually link into the morgue, and then link into Griffin. Okay. Wait, I attributed the wrong card. Whoops. Well, maybe maybe you're <laughs> maybe we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, I I can still clear your board, obviously, but. But uh, not in a pretty way, though. Because I'm going to have to crash the freaking... <laughs> I, I meant to tribute other cards. I was like, oh, this is what I'm summoning, right? It's like, no, it's not. I could have summoned both foes and it would have been lethal again. So I guess we're both... A, I guess you could call both of us Megalith fools here in this, in this time. <laughs> Oh, I also should have crashed. It would have been slightly more damage. 300 oh. more total damage. Um, hmm. Doesn't matter. I mean, I might as well, right? Oh. Oh. Actually, I'm not okay with that. No. Actually, oh. I kind of don't like that. I guess, uh, my bad. I thought I was playing the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I thought I was going first, but really, I went second. Well, I mean, I did have max C, which means I win the games. You know, that's, that's how it works. Your bingo? Oh, yeah, it's a bingo, true. I mean, if you if you want to activate it again, you're you're free to you're free to do so. I think options wise, um, do I have many alternatives? Um, I mean, it kind of doesn't really do any. I'm gonna be honest. I, I feel like yeah, you're I, probably I in a situation to go first, where but I went second. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Yeah, I mean that. To be fair, that's just how it goes sometimes, right? Oh, I can't do that. Though. All right. I mean, it's fine. This bird is okay. I'd like to see you break that with a gamma in hand and two other cards. Yeah. Um...
Mm. Well. <laughs> um I think I might um activate an effect. All right, well I guess. Luckily I had the called by in the hand. I like it when I draw these hand traps after I need them though. Yeah. I mean okay, to be fair. You kind of okay. did play into Max C, okay? You, I don't think you had to play that hard into it. Admittedly, you I could mean, have leveraged the same thing that you talked about at the start of uh, the second game, which is ritual decks tend to be kind of bricky, and then be like, I, I trust that you don't have plays, and then just went off. I, I don't okay, remember. Is that true though? Plays. I don't remember if I had plays. I think I had a starter to be fair, but. Okay, but it's well, kind of hard to remember because I, I had max C and then I... Oh, whoops. Uh, I'm, I'm just... Uh, I'm going crazy. I, I'm preventing targeting effects. You know, just in case you wanted to target my cards. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm preventing you. Bam. This guy looks so cool. I'm glad they gave him an animation. Oh, wait. I searched for the second copy of the same card. Oh, well. <laughs> I wonder what your last card could be. Yeah. Whew. In your opinion, what would what cards deck would bring hype to Duel Links? I feel like Rush Duel was a huge flop. Uh I think it was a huge flop if you expected it to like hype yeah. hype uh like the Duel Links, pre existing Duel Links aspect, right? The only hype that they're really like cashing in on with Rush Duel is Specifically, the crowd that's looking for, you know, very simplistic, um, simplistic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh experience, um, and people who are looking specifically for Rush to begin with, right? But um, cards that they could bring the Duel Links for hype specifically. I mean, it probably be something that I I'm. I'm personally not necessarily too interested in seeing Duel Links, which is probably something that's been really good in the in in the TCG, right? That usually tends to be very hype for people in general. Mm. I mean, I'll be honest. I feel like the only deck that I don't think is very interesting is Constellar because uh, it just auto loses going second, but it is just really toxic going first. Um, but besides that, I feel like the game's pretty good right now. Or like, I think Mayakashi and Shadala both can produce good grind games, which are like fun and interesting to play. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess as far as hype is, maybe they should try to like showcase the fact that they have the gen, you know, the spe deck specific skills for non anime decks as well a little bit more towards the people who haven't been playing in a while. I don't know how they would do that, like, alerts, notifications, whatever, but that probably would be, do at least somewhat of a decent job, especially if it's for decks that people, you know, are nostalgic for in, like, the... Um, you know, the, 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 the Duel Links and TCG formats, but... Yeah, also I'm taking out the yours except the max season and ashes and called bys for my deck. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's really that big of a difference for here as well. That's the best part. But yeah. What was your original Did did you end up nerfing this deck at all after I asked um, for Or was this just like I a funky so. deck? I was also, I think I was also trying, like, um, what was I trying? I remember there was some, like, ultra rare stuff that I was like, okay, maybe this is a bit too much that I, like, <laughs> trimmed it down. I forget yeah. what it was, though. Yeah, now I feel kind of bad because it's like, I guess, like, neither of us was fully budget, but it's also like, I did make you nerf your deck, which, which makes me feel like, oh, I just, I made him make his deck weaker so that my deck would do better. It's like, nah. Not exactly the best look, but but hey, I I I I used only uh 
only the staples and the, the girls that didn't matter that they were yours, to be fair. Yeah, all the lists were on called by crossout. Yeah, I th I think that's fine, right? Like, obviously you could replace them with something else, but uh, I think uh, it's fair to expect most people. If you've been playing for long enough, you have all of those cards. Yeah, like if 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 you don't have them, then that's on you to figure out what the frick you're replacing them with. Index, like that's, yeah. That's your problem, then. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm kind of surprised, though. Uh, I do have a couple, technically, yeah. But um, right. uh, I would have to hop accounts, probably, real quick. Uh, okay. Is there a you last want to do that? Or... I, I could, yeah. Oh, I don't mind. Okay. I have, like, one deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you say it's a stronger deck or a weaker deck or somewhere in the middle? Um, somewhere in the middle. I was mm. like thinking, do I want to include this? But it was also like, I, I know you'll piece it together. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, dailies reset. But, uh,. I'm not gonna do Dragoonity Duels in the middle of the skull right now. I think I think I'm good. I I did the dailies on this account before when I was building the decks, and I am still playing Dragoonity on it. It's kind of unfortunate because I I was looking for something new to play, well new for me, right? While the new box wasn't out, and I landed mm -hmm. on Dragoonity uh, after I had played a lot of Flower Guardian, <laughs> um, and uh, it was actually surprisingly fun in the sense that. I timed out, like, twice, I think, while trying to play it, which oh. I really didn't expect, considering that, you know, I've played Dragon Link, and I feel pretty comfortable with pre banless Dragon Link, and, um, I, it's not that I'm unfamiliar with a lot of the Dragoonity cards either, but some of the sequencing and, you know, the, the, um, overall you know, boards that you're kind of going for did catch me off guard, and I was like, how do I maximize the value uh, on this? Because maybe it's it's one of those cases where, like, how do I make underwhelming effect a good effect type of situations? Probably, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, but yeah I, I was learning that, and then when I finally started getting, on day two, when I was getting kind of decent at the deck, you know, I, I knew how to do the full combo uh, consistently. Uh, because the weather was being really fricky, like it went from minus 27, which is negative in Fahrenheit as well, up to like plus 3 degrees on the next day, which is, you know, it's like a 50 degree jump in Fahrenheit, oh, in 30 degrees. <laughs> so, you know, it was a little bit wacky. Apparently some power lines got damaged, so I lost electricity for a second while they were fixing stuff like twice, and I, I couldn't play it, and the next day the new box came out, and it's like, well, so much for learning this deck, I guess. All right. Kind of unfortunate. Is Dragon Link still meta in, in dual links? Negative um, one. Like question. Rocket. Um, it's like playable. It's no longer on like a really top tier deck, but it's like arguably on the fringes of like maybe tier three or around there. Um, you'll find that the niche that uh, Rocket was effective at um has kind of been. Is kind of being done by some other decks a bit better, so that's why it's uh, falling out of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the fate of a lot of decks that get kind of pushed out, is they usually, unless you get hit to a ridiculous degree, um, you're probably still a playable deck, but, you know, maybe not meta-viable in, like, a competitive format or a you know, tournament. Oh boy, what a hand. Uh, well, this will be a hand of all time. Um. Um, hmm. I'm kind of not like that to happen. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Enjoy. 
Enjoy, I guess. Man, I'm so sad that Turtop is so abusable, though. Like, on one hand, I guess it's cool, but... It's sad because I don't think it helps speedroids in the way that they need helping with. Yeah. Because they're, you know... I, from my perspective, their main issue is that they, the boards they put up just aren't good enough. So, obviously, consistency helps, but it's not, like, the main problem. Um... But meanwhile, everybody else is like, woohoo! Triple turn top! I can now summon, like, a freaking Zodiac from the deck. Let's go! Or I can, you know, search or, for adventure. I think it's, uh, I think Terra Top is a full FTK. On its Wait, own. what? Wait, is it? Oh, no. Uh, there's some line. I forget what it is, but. I guess, um, like, through a word on, right? Um. I do not recall. Mm, okay. What the frick? Quote the code talker. I haven't seen well, you that see, animation in 10 years. Um, the Link 3 pool is not that impressive at the moment. <laughs> That's so, true, um, yeah. That is true. I am I am aware of that. Oh, wait, I had a better line. Mm. <laughs> well. Well, we are here now. Um, Why is negative 1 in Diamond win even though he's mainly focused on links? What do you mean? He, he just plays ranked now and again. For dailies and yeah. stuff. What the frick is this guy doing again? Uh, if a monster is summoned to a zone that a um, link monster points to, it just wipes all main monster zones. Hmm. Well. So. I had a better end board, but I realized midway. That, uh, There's a problem me. with this deck. That I'm playing. <laughs> yep. Um. Blah blah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> this deck for some reason isn't hit. I don't know why, but uh, it isn't. Okay. But you might be aware of um a certain aspect of this deck. Um. Hat traps kind of frick you. I can't, mm. I can't summon Petting Sasaur because mm -hmm. I have a monster in the grave. Yeah, it's it's I really see. sad. Like I, it's funny because I copy pasted a list that I used uh, back in February twenty twenty two. Like I had an old Madolce list. This is or, or March. I don't remember it, but this was like one of the first decks that I played in um, Master Duel. Um. Oh, it has, like, some random burn effect. Cool. Um, <clears throat> yep. And uh, that list played two Ash Blossom and one Maxi. And I'm like, huh. That can't be right. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, I remember what the reasoning was. But it's also like, that That looks so bad, though. <laughs> that looks absolutely dreadful. Mm. Please don't do anything that I wouldn't like. No, come on. You will be using Ash Blossom too. I only have one of these now, unlike the previous list where I had two. Oh. Alright, well I will be using this. Territory then. of the Shark stack. Oh my god. I mean, I can maybe OTK through this, right? Abyss Dweller is your favorite card. The downside, you can only use Water Monsters. At least any good water monsters. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that's true for a lot of stuff, right? We talked about plants earlier while I was playing Rika, how they hit one of the, you know... I mean, the prominent plant-type skill with what grows in the graveyard. Um, And then they... never gave plants anything back. Which is, like... not great, to be honest, but, you know... Oh boy. But yeah, that's true. Water could probably get some support as well. There's a lot of water cards that aren't super crazy, but that that aren't in dual links as well. Like both XC's enablers and also cards. Do you draw the cards before I draw the Brock? <laughs> or... 
Um, I'm trying to think what line I want to go for first. It didn't matter which one I put on top. Doesn't okay. I love that I have to be careful about this freaking bomber dragon as well. What the frick? Oh, wait, no! Why did I? Oh my god, you don't have to do this. No! <laughs> you know what? We're pretending that I had to do this. Okay. Oh my god, that's so annoying, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Boy. I'm gonna shovel these back into your deck. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> that was a part of my plan. Mm. Okay, all right. Um... Right. Activate effect, detach this. Get the uh, dude guy. The dude guy effect. Well, I am now on brick, so <laughs> you can play the game. You're saying? Hmm. Yeah, funny enough. Kind of wild how that works. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I love to hear that for you. Oh, uh, thanks. I think I'm gonna summon a second dead. copy. <laughs> yeah, Madolce. To be fair, I guess I I I do heavily criticize the way Madolce plays in Duel Links, but uh, but I guess the gimmick is somewhat similar in uh, in Tase J. Notably, my uh, my turn one was incorrect. That's my thing. Aha! Oh. Where did I... Yeah, yeah, I did, okay. Is it up to them? Um, After that, shuffle cards your opponent controls into the deck up to the number of cards. Uh, yeah, it's not equal, yeah. okay. Just double checking. Bam! I might be 300 damage short right now, but I possess an extra normal summon. Also, I had nothing in the graveyard, so I could technically special summon, but... Wait, why did I swing in this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> just, I'm giving you... I don't know, the, the red ogre effects more efficiently or whatever. He's like Gores, but like really, really garbage because he's in Duel Links and nobody has ever used him in that game either. Except that one guy who used it against me. I hope you drew into Max C and Ash as well during your your draws. Well, I had... I already had Ash, but... No, I mean I like I after just, I shuffled them back into the I just drew deck. like all of my engine. And oh, like, nice. Well, this would have been nice, you know, turn one. So just to make sure, this deck is better than the last one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Um, I did the turn one incorrectly. I could have played it, but um, you may also find that the uh, opening is not, how to say, super consistent. Hmm. consistently opening oh okay damn i'm not sure why this is oh wait i wait actually it is legal for a reason never mind never mind i guess it makes sense for it to be legal okay i don't want you sending stuff don't do that don't do that That's a little weird. 
Also, hello, Mango. Would you say your experience with the collaboration was the negative variety? Come on, you can't do that every time. You need to have new material. Come on, Mango. I trust in you. Um... I don't know, you could make some joke about fleas or something. <laughs> A fleezing Please, duel. Uh, see, um, I'm, I'm going double the layer with this one. Um, also, a question that came out a while ago was, what deck have you been playing in ranked in the uh, Master Duel, I assume? Um, I used to play Pearly, and then uh, they keep hitting Pearly. <laughs> so, um... Sometimes I consider maybe I should just play War Crimes. And by War Crimes, I mean Floodgates. Mm. Um, I like the second Imperial you got going there. <laughs> I'm not even trying to hide it. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I even... I mean, you have Nightmare. But it's... You already used the Nightmare, so it's like... Do I care? I feel like if I don't allow you to do it... Like, you're either setting a counter trap, which means I can't use it anymore, or you're gonna go for draws and I can't really do anything about it, so... Mm. That's a little rude, but, um... I mean, you still have a normal you... summon, I'm sure you're fine. Um, you might... could make a joke so you fleed. Okay, there you go. <laughs> There you go. Mm -hmm. We'll be summoning a ding dong. I had a royal one of those on my previous account that I was on. It was in my extra deck, even though I was like, oh yeah, budget decks. <laughs> royal ding dong, necessary. Okay. Uh, you've seen this one before, probably. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, what about this? Um, hmm. I don't think I can ash that. Oh, wow, that's... Damn, that, that sucks sucks for you, pal. Sorry to hear that. Um I think I my play I have to ash the uh rank five, I think. That makes the most sense. Um, I could see that, yeah. Sure. Do you have to detach this time around? I mean, I guess there's a non-zero chance that you have Nib again, but... Eh, you know, that's... That's a risk I have to live with. That's a risk that I always had to live with playing this deck in particular, to be honest. I think we're fine. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, I did the uh, did open uh, some stuff. I mean, admittedly, this only procs if I put it in, right? So, and it doesn't chain block here, so. Uh, bam, boom. As my curiosity was. Was there no play if Magilene was Ash? Uh, I I did have a play if Yash, sure, yeah. Okay. Would have been would have been preferable probably for me. Uh, does this say deck or? Uh, if you control blah blah blah. Comes from from your. Oh, into the main deck. Uh, damn, that's so annoying, actually. And I assume this one's the same, right? Um, 
Shuffled into the main deck. Uh, uh, it's actually a little bit annoying. Uh, uh, I guess we can kind of figure figure it out. Could do it with this one as well. I I hope I'm not overdoing it here. We'll see. But yeah, I had the duck. Mm, I see. Um. Does it add another name? Okay. And I can banish this. <clears throat> and then I can do the classic thing where I start summoning these things. And Anyways, I started blasting. But yeah, it's the duck is really, really insane support for this duck in general, to be fair. Mm. Because um <clears throat> you can you can just search for Angeli and then even if you have stuff in the grave, you know, you summon her. It also allows you to special summon from the graveyard, so you can special summon the the girl as well. Just really good. Or not Angeli, the well, you know what I mean. <laughs> You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a game. Uh, it's important in this one to be aware that dude guy can actually miss the timing, so you don't want to summon him off of the pudding sus. Ooh, for for all my uh, people learning Madolce in this meta, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are learning in the deck right now. It's just so good. Oh, I already have lethal without even activating them. Yes, Madolce strongest. Okay, to be fair, I kept opening double imperm, and last game I also had max C, so it's like. You know, what was the turn one board that you were going for? I feel like I want to see the deck list. What, what, what were you exactly cooking up with this one? Um, Which one misses the timing? The butler misses the timing. Unless I'm like severely misremembering, but I remember that being a problem for me. So there are a few things about the list. Um... Yeah, the, the messenger lotto is um, an optional effect. When you when this card is special summoned, you can add uh, spell trap. So if you summon it as a channeling two, which when you have the spells that might happen, uh, it kind of sucks. So you have to be careful about that. And then you so also have to be careful they, that you have to. Um, this hmm? one runs bomber dragon, uh, but it can do it better because if you also have babble up with bomber dragon, you can you know banish heart to summon out you know simple skeleton for instance, and then bomber dragon wipes the board. And then um, later on in the turn, you can banish Symbol Skeleton to summon back a monster into the Bomber Dragon zone and then wipe the board again. So mm. um, you also will have access to, uh, you know, Dingirsu Sens. You have access to, like, an infinite advantage loop. So I thought it was neat, but ultimately I, uh, I wasn't... This deck I didn't feel was uh, cut out for being called cheap or like the <laughs> yeah. cheap deck. I was like, well, I wouldn't call this the good deck either. So I felt like maybe I go with this. Well, it was either this or Sword Soul Tangy. Um, <laughs> admittedly, maybe I, I think this, this is this is probably cheaper than your cheap deck. Admittedly, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, it's it's fine, yeah. Um, I mean, so it, the nice thing about this is this is lore accurate. So if someone wanted to play, wanted to play Orcus from World Legacy Line, uh, they 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 could do that with this one. Yeah, hey, well. Yeah, there's also um, uh, Gearsu 
the Mechnite Orcus or the Orcus Mechnite. Mm-hmm. Um, notably, he's an ultra rare though. He so. is, yeah. <laughs> I've so been, maybe I've I should have just save had this him. as the um, cheap deck because um, I don't think there's any main deck ultras actually. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking as well. All right, I only oh. have the gear in the extra deck, and that's pretty much it. I think. Well, you also have yeah. like the Boral. I, I always mix it up which one is Boral Sword or whatever this guy is. Boral Dragon. Yeah, it's Borload, Dean Gearsu, and Cherubini. But, and, well, and Matt IP. But yeah, I guess maybe this could have been the cheap one. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I don't know if this had a better matchup against Megalith, but. But yeah. Um. Burning Abyss solo sure. gate went, to be honest, that would probably go pretty hard. If they didn't, yeah. you know, make well, disappointing solo Well, that's just a Dante's Inferno, general. right? Well, I mean, it's yeah, just... but it with a Yu-Gi-Oh twist, so it's different, right? Yeah. Yeah, my deck was just, uh, like, me quickly throwing together something from a two-year-old adult show list. <laughs> I just put in more hand traps, and I put in, put in, like, the four Vernus Elves I had, and it's like, okay, I'm at 40 cards, let's not push it. <laughs> let's not add more Vernus Elves, though. Probably makes sense to play more than more than the four. I would imagine that the bear at three also makes sense. Oh, wait, I played yeah. Nibiru! I was like, you play Nibiru? And then I thought, oh, wait, I also oh, wait. played Nibiru. <laughs> oh, is Nibiru? Did I take out Nibiru? Uh, oh, I guess oh, I took it out. Oh, you did take it out. Okay. I guess there was no dying for me then, in general. <laughs> I know nice. the, all the other decks had Nibiru though. Okay. It was like one Nibiru. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah. I have more decks, but I feel like the one that I have remaining is it's not very, it's not too interesting. I can just show it, but it's uh, it's the other one that I hur- hurriedly made at the start of the stream, uh, while doing dailies was just another take on B Troopers because, you know, B Troopers are illegal. Mm-hmm. Most of their stuff isn't hit. Funnily enough, <clears throat> Fusion Parasite isn't hit. And, well, maybe not all, but some of the targets that you can go into aren't hit either. So you can summon Kaliga and you can summon Raijin, which uh, is very funny. Are they great cards? Not really, but it's very funny that you have access to them. Also, I guess... Alistair solo gate, hello, Konami. Actually, wait, when did they add the last solo gate? Oh yeah, Alistair was legal. I was thinking if wait, I should he? include it in some way, but um Wait, he was legal? Yeah, for this event. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why did they Alistair Mecha Um I don't know if all the Link ones are legal. I know um Almirage isn't legal. Yeah. Um Notably, like a bunch of pendulum stuff is legal, like um, Electromite, um, Beyond the Pendulum. Wait, really? Oh, I didn't even check Astrograph. that. Astrograph. Yeah. I but, guess uh, because. I don't have um, enough, uh, yeah, I guess there's stuff, Dino so. Mist was, uh, was a solo gate. I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, like trying to find for was, yeah. find reasons for that. I guess we got one. We got the. Last solo gate was at the end of November. Then. I remember they were like pushing them out fast, and while I didn't really, I don't like the way that they do the solo gate stories. I'm gonna be honest. Like that's what it was one of the main things that I was looking forward to when Master Duel was announced. I was, because I had very little faith in myself to be able to pick up the game and be remotely competent at it. And then it turned out that it was basically just Duel Links. But um, who, who knew? Um, <laughs> But um, but I was really looking forward to having solo gate stories, and then they they kind of, especially the on release ones, were so disappointing. And then even the not on release ones were they're mostly infuriating for me rather than like enjoyable. I'm like, this, either it's not a story or it's a bad story, and I'm just pissed off. I. Every time I'm reminded about the Vengeance solo ga- solo gate story, I'm I I can't. And the fact that people like it makes me even more upset. I don't even know what the 
I don't even know what the gay is. I did the events, and uh, I think I just skipped all these stories. I'm not gonna lie. I think I just skipped. Them. You're probably better off for it. I I'll be honest. A lot of them are. I mean, especially the early early on, a lot of them were like just listing cards. It's like. There's this one and this one and then there's yeah. this one. It's like, bro, yeah, I get it. Like, but can you like you printed those have a story? Stuff. Like, can you have a story happening with them besides the fact that they exist? Like, can can there be some action that's like occurring? Like, I guess the yeah. vendored one had stuff that was happening, but it's, it was also it's like, oh, everybody died. This guy had a locket with a woman who might have just been some sort of a freaking pop star that he really liked like a creeper but he assumes that it's his wife but he's also you know aware as a zombie so he's not a part of the horde and now he hates them i don't think they cool. even included like the story element where they like killed killed his wife in front of him or whatever like you know in, in well not in front of him but like in any meaningful capacity right where he's aware that that happened and he's just like killing them and then his killings is helping the survivors and it's just non-stop okay and then the mutants got stronger so he showed up again and killed them again and then the mutants got stronger again so he showed up and killed them again Oh my god, the mutants are stronger than ever. They have evolved into a new form. And then he showed up and killed them again. And humanity was saved. So, finally, he had completed his quest of vengeance. Which also, like, barely involved him, by the way. But, you know, it's like talking about the zombies most of the time. In a very boring fashion, but whatever. And then, as a thanks from the humanity, when he's like, finally, I can be dead. And not be, you know, a revenge zombie anymore. They made sure that he survived so he could protect them in the future. Like, bro, he didn't give a shit about those humans. Like, how is that the good ending? Now he can live as the guardian of the city. Like, bro, frick off. <laughs> Why does he have to do that? Uh, It's so annoying. Resident Evil is a game. That's dreadful. When did they add it? Oh my god. Alright, dude. Is... Alright, Mango. <laughs> Wait, is Resident... Is Resident Evil Konami? I thought Silent Hill was Konami. Resident Evil is... Uh... It's Capcom, yeah. Yeah, Capcom. But I mean, they, they can still base stuff off of it. That's why people yeah. like Albus so much. It's the only story with direction. Well, I mean, you could argue that um, the like World, World Legacy, Legacy? Went, kind yeah. of has a little bit of direction. I think it's like it's also not told very well. I think the bigger issue, however, is oftentimes when the amount of information that they include just isn't very good, and then the shoddy translation comes in on top of everything else. Um... I really also dislike that they don't make original art for these. I, if they ever needed an excuse to make extra, like, original art that they can, I don't know, make into sleeves and mats, like, not necessarily just digitally, but also, you know, like, physical product. OCG likes doing that. Like, why why can't they make unique art with these cards? Why, why are we restricted to only the pre-existing stuff? I understand that maybe they can't do it every time, but I think it would add a lot of charm. But then... Another thing is, from what I understand, a lot of these stories are cut up in a weird way where they're not as mm, as well told or necessarily follow the same stuff as the lore books that Yu-Gi-Oh has, which why not just why not just do it better? Or sometimes they just recount them and then the lore book entries are like the S-Force one. I think the S-Force one is mostly just recounted and it's like... It's okay, I guess, but it's also kind of at low like Z random at times. Yeah, I'm just disappointed. I, I wanted more and it's not happening. I will say, so there was one deck that I thought of that mm -hmm. I think could be kind of scary for yeah. this format, but like I didn't bring it because I I just did not have the ultras and I did not want to craft it. It's um, some sort of Goki deck. 
Oh. Um, because notably, Isol is legal. Um, and rematch. And um, because Terra Top is also legal, you can do Terra Top into Tekatomborg. You make um, Invoker. Invoker gets out Super X, and then you can link them both of those into Isold. And then. Mm. You, uh, you oh, know, he is a warrior. Go... Yeah, wait, hold up. Oh my god. I guess, actually, I think my. I played against the Goki player one time. Maybe he did that, actually, now that I think about it. But no, that was before. Before Turtop was legal, but maybe they still did it. I don't remember. But yeah, that yeah. that is. Um, I mean, to be fair, that deck just makes towers. But on the other hand, that might be hard to add towers in this format. So maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked we aren't seeing more warrior spam nonsense on Master Duel. Kind of same, to be honest, especially after Assault got banned, because usually people like to be like, no, my card got banned. Anyways, I'm going to play it in Master Duel now before it gets banned here as well. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, LCG doesn't really do too much for your spam either, right? So maybe... Yeah. I mean, generally the combo decks are more tailored because of the existence of Maxi. Uh, like, a combo deck like Warrior is not quite as prevalent i imagine just because uh the number of summons that you are always going through is um so high before like you summon so much before you even get to your first disruption right that mm. uh it's you literally just pass to the maxi it looks like a lot of utopia stuff is legal is anything banned uh oh you, you, leo ray is banned and double is banned and also dragon ray. okay all right they all right i see how it is everything else legal but oh well i was gonna say that could be potential an interesting interesting deck as well but never mind not interesting <laughs> feels bad man win for you i already won i i won our many i don't know what we call this <laughs> battle royale event royale fortnite dance yep for, i hacking love fortnite i i've played it one time now on my bingo thon on the 18th of november which happens to be the in independence day over here before I had to play it, I lost the punishment wheel, which said that during the next game I would have to sink through the Latvian anthem. And it was no joke, 4 a.m. in the morning, and I was dropping in Fortnite and singing the anthem. Very patriotic. And then I got I Victory Royale, because I'm pretty sure everyone that I encountered was a freaking bot. <laughs> like I, I've literally never played Fortnite, but cool. That's, that's great. I'm happy for you. Yeah, a, a ver very cool experience, would recommend. Yeah, it's the national game. But yeah, I think... Um, unless there was a deck that you wanted to play against specifically. I I had Plunder and I had Beat Troopers, but... Unless you had like anything specific in mind anymore, it's probably... No, nah, those were all the different decks that I... Uh, um, you know, scratched together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thanks. it was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm also, as I said, it, it felt so nice to play, uh, prank kids and even playing against prank kids is like seeing those cards. Like I remember when this was good. Even, even if like when the deck itself was super highly played during adventure prank kid meta, it's like mm, I'm not really a huge fan. But it, it was still. This is still a nice yeah. trip down memory lane. I think the uh, so the reason why I was running the uh, adventure stuff is in part because um, it's just free stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Like um, right, a very messier. It can also help you chain block your um, first prank kids yeah. summon, and um, also magician souls. I think just like cycling through the dead cards. To like draw two is pretty good when like hand traps are probably going to be pretty important, right? Like, yeah, 
when Maxi Ash called by cross out, like when the mini game is legal, the mini game is the game. <laughs> it is the game. That's true. Yeah. So, play a wind deck. <laughs> Bungie is probably going to beat everything to death in that. I don't know. I don't think this is one of those events where, like, even if there does turn out to be, you know, the preferred really strong deck in the format, if it's, like, I don't know if it's it would really be Rika, but, like, let's say, for example, Rika, right? Which is a deck that has quite a lot available to it still and can put up pretty annoying boards. Like, I never got to fully combo off, and I still got to do quite a lot. Um... I feel like it doesn't matter, right? Like, in these events, one, people tend to not necessarily care too much about playing it out fully. Um, and you don't have to yeah. care about playing it out fully. But also, you know, even more so than ranked, it's like, there's a lot of coin flip scenarios where you just, like, either win or not. I don't think Plunger is in that great of a spot in this format, like, comparatively. There's a lot of decks that are unhit, basically, as well. Yeah, I think uh, you you kind of just expect the mini game to decide a large number of games. Maybe not all of them, but um, you know, a person a non uh, a um, what is it? A non negligible number. Yeah. Games. Wait, why did so. not work? Oh, it broke. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for thank you for joining me. Thank you for the thank you for the duels. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play a bit of ranked, and then I'm uh, probably gonna call it. Uh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Boy, boy. Okay. Goodbye. What a what a ultra rare rich. Prank kid, uh, prank kid, uh, royal having, uh, uh, young man. Oh wait, I can't, what the frick. Here you go, in case you want to find him, he mostly does, when he streams, mostly streams doings. But, uh, you know, on occasion, there might be something Master Duel related. Also, sometimes he plays in the bigger Master Duel events, like the MBTCS series and whatnot. And he does top them on occasion as well. You like watching Duel Links? Yeah, it can be nice. <clears throat> it doesn't matter because Earth Insect. I mean, it's not just Earth Insect, but I will say that it's definitely a factor, right? I wouldn't say that that's the only factor here. Um... <clears throat> the top an MCS. Uh, one of the main things that I don't like about uh, events like that is that they take up a lot of your time if you do well. <laughs> like, they, they take pretty much the entire day. Has he streamed events? Uh, I don't think he did last time around, but... I mean, you could, uh, you, you could ask him when he's, uh, alive. I'm not sure if his connection is uh, great right now, though, for like streaming the events, but maybe. It was a negative one. Okay, dude. For a moment, I was like, did I shout out the wrong person? God damn, dude. Can't believe this. Hey. Waiting 50 minutes for people to combo. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it is, you know. You can't really... Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do about it. Why did he... What the frick did he end on? <laughs> what the frick is this?
Empire. Oh my god. No, it's kind of tough. We're gonna try to fuse for what it's worth. Bing bang boom. I mean, he has a pomp effect still. And two more cards. <clears throat> it up. I can't out these though. Like, the thing is, it, it doesn't actually... These are unaffected because of Chaos Angel. Bruh. It has some cards, huh? Do I even have targets? I don't. That's so unfortunate. As the Gravier targets, I guess, tuners. Actually went for it. I, I wasn't paying attention. I guess I should have paid more attention. Could have went for the out first. The draw has to be good. Actually, I guess I'm screwed regardless. Because I'm screwed because he still has this putter effect. Damn, that sucks. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess we got got sacked. Just go over forty cards and you won't break. Break. I mean, if the cards that you're adding on top of the forty cards are all consistency cards, yes, that tends to work out. That's why we're playing 50 cards, because the cards we're adding on are like turret tops, which are one card starters as well, so... I do agree though, if I had turbo Zeus, it might have kind of screwed him over pretty heavily. Oh my god, man. Though I don't know, he had the counter trap and he also had Imperm, so not really. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I guess not really, right? Because he had the counter trap all the time as so. well. Oh boy. Oh, Long Johnson. Just in case people don't know what I'm referencing. Oh, 
Holland Johnson. Not gonna lie, I like Gold Pride as a deck way better than Super Heavy Summons, <laughs> I think. Wisdom working. Oh, yeah, Channel Point Redeems are kind of dead. I don't know why. I could try to refresh this, but. Doesn't work. Okay, well. That's fine. Oh, it's a mirror match, I guess. Oh boy. <laughs> My hand's kind of trash. Oh, I didn't update the decklist to give right now. I'll fix it in a moment. I should have waited for the summon, but I wanted to be able to draw it if he had Ash or Callbine. Unfortunate. I need the top deck actually to even be able to do that. Uh, uh, no! No. Oh my god, he's a real Sakata King. I'm so jealous. Oh great on Imperimar. Maybe even start your engines. Ah, oh, this topic also sucks. Yikes. I don't know, maybe it was better to go for draw on that one, but... I can first the back row for it, sorry. What? Why did he just... Are you good? I mean, I guess... Oh wait, this doesn't... It does have to target Tanner, man. Okay, I kind of see it, I guess. Oh. Okay. 
I mean, it's gonna be on four cards. I'm gonna be on one card for interaction, but... Better than nothing, I guess. It has to be fusion summoned. Um... I should have maybe gone for something else that makes him more scared here. Um... What's the deck? I'll fix the deck list in a moment. I'm playing a uh, gold pride punk, and he is playing punk, but probably with gold pride as well. He has negate phase down. He had at least one negate. Wait, does this target? Oh my god, why does it have to target, bro? That's so annoying. Okay, at least it prevents. I don't think Zeus would have been a great bird card. <sighs> and he has a negate anyways, I guess. There's no shot he's stupid enough to not win here. Man, I love all these archetypes that just fold to Ash Blossom, even though Ash Blossom is, you know, the second most popular card because Maxi is the most popular card in the game. That's so cool. It's so good to be a random Fallout deck. I guess a lot of these TCG archetypes don't care about Ash and their concept because Ash isn't a permanent existence in the TCG, which, as per usual, I say, wow, that must be a really weird world to live in where Ash isn't always, you know, overwhelmingly present. Oh boy. Oh, great. I just draw it immediately. <sighs> that must be a really fun deck, right? And the fact that he gets two for it as well is so freaking annoying, man. Freaking... Goddamn. Oh, I'm gonna turn off your ability to play by activating... Uh, by activating... D shitter. Oh, I can't let that happen. I have to negate it. Oh, I also had Maxi. You can't play still. Oh, Jesus. 
Yay, so fun. That's so nice. So instead of potentially full combo, I have one negate and one card in hand. Very cool. Oh, random ass cash turret deck is all nice. Hey, floodgate turbo. I mean, he's on five. He doesn't know. He hasn't read the card. I mean, I feel like the other phenomenon, though, is they tend to... Wait, is this activate or use? Use, okay. This sucks, though, but... We just have everything, dude. It's like, so many of these people are like, okay, my deck sucks, I'm just gonna play it as a go second, even though it's fully capable of being played as a go first as well. This is so shit for me, holy crap. Matchup is also bad. Surely that's not the best card you could have run for there. Like, why are you on freaking D Fisher? Oh my god, man. Why? Why am I playing against this freaking goddamn random D Fisher player? He's playing like 50 cards that banish shit when he can turbo out a boss monster that does the same thing. Like, why? Why am I the one to find this guy? I don't want to find him. Nobody should find him. I mean, it doesn't matter which search I get, it's kind of screwed into... into a uh, draw, I guess. Oh, I still didn't update the deck. God damn it. Give me a second. I mean, I can show you a slightly... slightly wrong deck list, but it's mostly the same. Like a couple card changed. Uh... 
da, da. Alright, I can update it now. There you go. I'm on 50 because I like having more starters. Cop, cop. Yep, no problems. You can obviously cut down on the punk side, you can also cut down on, you know, some of the duplicates, etc. But I kind of liked it. I guess I can just go for this. I should have searched for the other one. I, I kind of messed up a bit here. Should have been the level three trap searcher. Didn't play confidently enough. Could have thinned the deck a little bit beforehand as well, but I think it's probably fine. I want to keep the wagon on the field just in case they have some targeting effects that they toggled off for, but not super likely that that happens, but why not, right? I do I want to draw into something that I can discard here. That is literally the worst draw. There isn't a worse draw than that. I mean, I could have prevented it by summoning before searching and drawing, but it's like I don't want to discard an Ash if I can help it, right? Um, I guess I can guarantee with this, right? I get the summon and then I can revive and make another one, right? Uh, I think also the... Um, 
gem drive should have been should have probably been in the MZ, but whatever. And that's so unlucky though that I drew into it. Should have made off of this will be lucky. I've seen worse, yeah, it's pretty lucky. That's pretty lucky. This would drive everybody and drive a better drive. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Not a deal. I assume it's probably hero, right? Oh, that's not fine. Mm. Kind of rude. So I just realized I need, yeah, I really needed this to be indexed. God damn it. It's not great. I need it to be in the MZ so I could revive from the graveyard and I don't have room now. And that sucks. I oh, won't. Well. Uh, uh. This is like so much worse than it could have been. This could have been super for you. Like, I had the setup for the fusion and just had to summon the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking whether there's any point in drawing, to be honest. I guess. Uh, might be fusion setup, right? It gains attack, so at least he won't be attacked over. Mm, it sucks though, but I guess he fuses with this, right? Oh, he went for the summon immediately. Ugh. If he has plasma. I mean, I could deal with plasma. I guess Trinity also exists. Is that an original attack actually? I 
don't want to do it, but I think... It's really awkward. Like, if he did commit to, like, a Plasma Fly, I could have gotten so much value from... If he happened to have it, I could have gotten so much value off of it, but... Um, I just don't want him to clear too much of his stuff. The more I can keep, the better for me, obviously. And right now this clears to... Mm hmm Trinity, okay. It's kind of to be expected. Oh, oh I don't even get the drop. Uh, but I guess I could get the end phase right Wait. Maybe this isn't that bad. Yeah, but it's main phase only, isn't it? Also opponent's turn only either. Ah, that's so sad. Mm, it sucks that these guys only interact during your opponent's main phase. Original attack. Oh no. But I guess it pops it. Yeah, never mind. I guess I get to keep it. <laughs> Better than nothing for sure. I guess I'll have at least a... Oh, it's extra effect, right? This is the... Okay, that scared me. I was like, can I not activate it or something? Whew! Okay. Dippy Pass, the classic hero in the board. I guess I want to draw into a better card, right? So, <laughs> sure. Oh, it's during either main phase. I mean, I could also Giga Greed. I don't think he can really come back, to be honest. We're fine. Especially because he doesn't have the... the guy in the grave either. Mm -hmm. So we can't even scale it here, increase. Mm. Yeah, there were like a couple of lines that I had, but... Oh, these are my only targets? Well, that's a little bit awkward. Okay. Nah, yeah, well, this guy does it as well, right? I mean, that's Goddess. Oh, it's husband. <clears throat> Welcome to the Divine, is it? I mean, I see where you're going with, like, resetting the searcher spell, but I feel like that's, okay, on turn three I will use this, like, I don't know, dude. Well, I, I suppose you can use it during your opponent's turn as well, right? Is it six? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. That's actually worth knowing. Thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of sucks how... It kind of sucks how... Jarl uh, is so good against this deck as well. Okay, this time we're gonna play around drawing into the the soft garnet. Some bad. Again, I don't think it really makes a huge difference here, but you know. Hello, hey show. I don't. I might hate it when I'm sometimes really slow to respond <laughs> to chat. Having one out and drawing your deck is that your opponent can play around this brutal. Yeah. I mean, I have two cards that out it, but <laughs> I guess technically there is a scenario where Gamma can also do it, but I don't really count it. Cross out and call by are the ones that I that I'm considering. Mm -hmm. Am I chilling a little bit sicky IRL, but other than that, other than that, I think I'm good. Mm. Don't I benefit more from putting stuff on his side of the field? 43. It's between basically making the, the Cicada King here. And summoning Leon. Leon! Or... Um, making the Dumpy searching, dumping a card and getting another name. I could basically end on all of their names then. But I feel like it might be kind of counter-beneficial having Flutter here right now as well. I mean, sounds okay. It's like Droll, Ogre, two hunt traps, two traps, that's four. It's potentially five, six, seven. I mean, it's not bad, right? Activator Geki, cut that in half. <laughs> Boba Bone Monodium Tech. What the heck? It's crazy. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably Monodium, right? Duh. No, I'm not, because the first time, and I think only time when I faced it, was in an hour festival. People were playing it in, like, uh, pendulum decks with, um, whatchamacallit, like, pile pendulum decks of good stuff with, uh, the fire guys, Electromite's archetype, metal foes, 
and I'm a hater. <laughs> I oh, know there is another game where I played against it where my opponent was playing some like floodgate turbo thing. Yeah, right. Declare priority. Got King is legacy. It is a legacy pack card, yeah. Uh, oh, we actually have four wins. Wait, what? Oh, that's from before from dailies. Okay, so three losses, four wins. Nice. I was gonna say, I feel like I've won more than two in a row right now. Do, 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 do hate for all Yeah, I'm a bit of a hater. I can always find something to hate. <laughs> In our chat, that Hero Engine was better than Kishore Engine because Fender is at one. Depends what you're trying to do. You could play the Macrocosmos Turbo. Search for uh, search for mass change. Very epic. Yo, look at that Fender at one. <laughs> that looks garbage. <laughs> Not speaking just of cash, speaking of cash and monodium. Chucky mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, he's drawing cards. I mean, I would. I feel like it's not super likely that he can't play the game, right? Yeah. Okay, but like, what? Is he playing Pearl Arena only for the. Sur Are you freaking kidding me, man? Okay, but he has a tuner in the graveyard. I'm not sure if he realized this, realized this fact. We might get a hee hee ha ha scoop. But then again, I guess he can always pop this guy, summon it out, bring that back. Yeah. Man, why are they never punished? Why are these goobers never punished? And then they print more cards to make it easier for them as well, as if it wasn't easy enough. Oh, but he can't use the pomp effect, actually. Hmm. Okay, cope, cope. Maybe, maybe. Now, he already used visas before, so he can't, yeah. Yeah. Well. Nice turn, bro. But, I, it's funny when it happens to my opponent, but I also can't get over this design. It, like, was it an oversight? Because obviously, in the OCG, Ash Blossom being activated in response to, like, a maxi would happen a lot, right? But also, this is a part of the archetype, so you have situations where this happens and you just can't... After turn one, you're just not allowed to summon the tuners out for free, or, like, what do you... What is the... What is the thought process here?
probably a bad time to draw, but whatever. Da -da -da. Do -do 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 um, I guess I only need a 7k life point. <laughs> Guys, I only need a 7,000 life point difference, and then I can kill him with, uh, kill him with PP. That's all it takes. By attacking over this guy, I mean. Ooh, thank God you can take these back. Mm, can't really do anything about that kind of. I bet you've grabbed a bigger monster instead. Actually, that could have been a target. Could just bounce, probably, or just make multi attack as well. Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Giving Dark type a uh, rank 3 and a rank 8. I think that would be cool. Um. I guess I'll try my best. <laughs> Wait, I only did 29. Wait, why did I think... Why did I think it was 7,000? <laughs> or 1,000? What the heck? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I... Added instead of subtracted. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm freaking stupid. Okay, that's fine. She went on a trip. Don't worry. She went on an interplanetary trip. She wanted to go there. She chose to go there. She's a space pirate from this guy, yeah. Actually, really, actually, now that I think about it, hmm. I like the similar vibes, somewhat. But I guess that's because, you know, it's just the general, the general plan for it. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of gum. Kana gum. <laughs> it's gonna come down to on what he has. Okay. It's Kana gum. It's gonna come. Captain Carey. But she looks like she could be in a Disgaea game, I feel like. Okay, it looks like it doesn't have anything else nice.
Uh oh, never mind. <laughs> I take that back. Uh, then again, I guess that's the graveyard. That's probably DD Crow, right? Yeah. That's my revive, so maybe I don't stress too much on the. Mm hmm. I mean, if he tricked me, he tricked me, right? I could technically play, play around it. I feel like it's... It might just be better to do, I guess. Like, if he randomly had an imprim that he didn't use, that could be annoying. But I'm pretty sure it's Crow and then maybe Abyssal now, but, you know, I, there's not really a reason for me to expect it to be Abyssal, admittedly. Mm -hmm. But I am pretty sure he has a Crow in hand. No, there was no delay until I had a card in the graveyard. I mean, unless he toggled off until then, right? Which, again, he could do that if he wanted to, but... I'd call Misk. I, Misk would have probably been prompt before, unless, again, like, he would have to specifically... specifically be like, I'm going to pretend, right? Probably, oh, well, I mean, it was Crow. I was gonna say it's probably Vanquish Soul, but okay. I really don't think I agree with people who are playing Stardust Dragon, though. Like, I, I think playing these guys, like the big boys, sure, if you want to play them, you can probably, like, do stuff, especially if you decide to keep Soul Horns. I think that's reasonable, but I don't think you need to run Stardust Dragon for this. Like, I guess you can tag out on an Imperm or something, but I don't know. There's so little room in the extra deck anyways. And you're already playing, like, a Dag the line as well. I don't know, dude. Well, it's not Gigacope, it's just, I don't think it's... Like, I don't think you're going to stop on that, never, right? And then it's just a waste most of the time. Probably like Sun Image. I mean, you know what? That's valid. I, I accept that. I accept liking to summon Stardust for the animation. Oh, no. Wow, this hand sucks. Da, 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 da. I feel like they should have been able to... You should be able to summon them out for free from the hand if you control no other monsters except gold prides. Because, like, if you're playing pure, how the frick are you supposed to do anything? It's like, oh, open the gold pride spells or you can't do anything? Like, that, that's so stupid. Like, I'm legitimately just stuck now, right? And I, the worst part is I can't even... I can't even do anything significant off of this, right? Because... Like, what do I- what am I gonna do? Synchro? Synchro into a monster and then, like... freaking. Oh my god, this is so bad. Uh, Nightbun might be done, or... or loading, yeah. Or the, the one time I don't want the one of, I get the one of. Okay, dude. Nah, 
No, Nedbar was just lagging. Don't worry. Knife Roth Head. I mean, I guess. Then again, he doesn't know, right? I mean, that's true. The card is really nice in the Metro. Oh my god, man. I wanted to negate the Unicorn so he doesn't get to banish from my graveyard, bro. Why are you gonna do this? I suppose the upside to this situation is that because he has an extra summon, now he gets to attack over Captain Carry, which means he gets to inflict life point damage to me, which means I will be able to summon these for free for what it's worth. Like, at least I got something, right? I think that might be kind of bad. Yeah, he puts the token in during the opponent's standby phase on their side of the field. And then during the main phase, I think only because all of all of these cards are stupid and can only be used in the main phase amp. During the main phase, you can pop the token and then pop the surrounding monster zones. Basically, he lays a freaking bomb on the field and he blows it up and destroys... Destroys the... Wait, I guess it's spot traps as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's nice. So you can destroy up to four cards if your opponent plays into it. I mean, I really like it. I, to be fair, I'm a sucker for... I'm a sucker for the... Uh, wait, why are you doing this? I guess it's gonna be mill 5, but... Oh, it's mill 8, that's why. Oh, shit. That's so annoying. <laughs> Unfortunately, odds are not horrible for him. Dang, didn't he add a 4? Wait, can he? Does he even have odds? But I guess this is a 7, so he'll do other shit that's annoying as well. This is just the, uh, I guess it's the remaining Sheerans, right? Sheeran. But yeah, I like cards that are, um, like, you know, like, you place them and you affect the stuff surrounding them. I think it's nice. I feel like, especially in a digital card game, you could probably do some, like, a lot of silly things with different patterns, you know? You, you have an archetype that interacts like that but they have different patterns so you have like a pattern that's you place it on any monster zone and then it's or any zone and then it's like three in front of it or something or like a line in front of it or or like everything surrounding it or an x pattern surrounding like that shit could be so nice obviously i don't think you can really make a Yu-Gi-Oh deck that works like that but it technically in a ccg right you could play around with that Da 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 How come I don't play- I mean, I did play it to max rank when it came out. I don't know, I- I don't find it too fun, personally. Also, you know, it was a very frequently seen rank deck afterwards. So, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of mirror matches with, like, popular decks. Oh, just somehow still have literally every single piece of the puzzle when you get drilled. That must be nice. I'm not quite sure why he would banish Fenrir.
that sucks so bad. Oh, he didn't summon though. What? I mean, I can Zeus. Or attempt to anyways. Shit, I can't go back. <laughs> Crap. Oh no, I'm about to take a buttload of damage. I was like, I want to keep the good cards, and then I realized, oh shit, wait, this is gonna hurt. Oh well, I mean, it's okay. We're playing the Masochist deck anyways, right? Did he add back the sand? I think he did, right? So I'm still screwed. Yay. Still going to get bricked over by... By tear lament after all of this. <sighs> that sucks. Is there anything this guy can do for me? Not really. No, he's going to summon freaking Rhino Heart because he added that back to the hand. Oh my god, that's so much worse now that I think about it because I, if I send it. If I send it, he gets to mill another one, right? But I guess he doesn't have Sharon. Yeah, but he could send... Uh, he has a tier name. This is so sad. I have to specifically top deck um, gold pride name, and even then I'm probably screwed. I think ideally I top deck specifically Leon. I tried. Well, actually, this is a tuner, right? Mm. Yeah, but like... <laughs> um, is it 2 and lower, or is it... um? Yeah, it is 2 and lower. Damn. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no play in Twitch on right here. Da 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 Okay, even if we ignore the fact that it only searches low level psychic cards, I am at 500 life points. Yeah, I guess there's still Leon if I survive, but... I mean, at least this was the next game after the rank up, so it doesn't matter as much. Mm 
It sucks because if I didn't attack... Um... I mean, I would have gone one search, two... Yeah, if I, if I made Cicada King, or the other one even, I would have had enough life points, I think, to pay twice. Actually, what is the life point difference between these? Or the attack difference, rather. Mm, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. This one's 400 and it's a light. This one's water. I guess 15. Yeah, if I made the chariot, then I think... Do I risk it? All right, I'll risk it. I feel like I never risk it, but I'll risk it this once time. This this once time. Okay, yeah, it didn't matter anyway. It's nice. Um, I always play around Gamma, so I decided this one time I won't play around it. Um, yeah, if I had made um, Chariot Carry, I would have had 1,500 more life points. Which would have meant that I um, would have enough to pay twice. So I could have searched for the trap card. Oh, wait, no, it didn't matter. You know why it didn't matter? Because he banished the trap card from my deck. At the start of the duel, he banished three cards. He banished the trap card as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duel you. Alright, queue up. Uh, I'm in Master 3 right now. There shouldn't be too many people. Just wait for me to get sacked this game and then we can duel. Mm -hmm. My Ash Blossom? No, what makes you say that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see me if you? I don't know, can you? But yeah. <clears throat> If I, but theoretically, right, if he hadn't banished the trap card, what we could have done would be... No, never mind, we couldn't. I, I keep forgetting, I can only search for levels. I was, I was looking for the play, but it just doesn't exist, I don't think. Hmm. I mean, I could have healed. <laughs> that would have been nice. Also would have, uh, thinned my deck in theory, but... Why would I be judging you? Mm. Yeah, we can't really play through this, I don't think. Even if he sucks, damn, this sucks because <laughs> it's horrible because we're gonna be on the rank immediately after ranking up now. Man. Because my next game is a freaking D rank. Hello. Most people playing this deck are mentally challenged. They don't know how to play the deck. Even though it's very easy. Like, when uninterrupted at least. I feel like 50% of my super heavy samurai wins have been against people who, like, for no reason make really huge errors. And then done really bad boards. Wow, I have a dead card, a semi-dead card, and I'm playing against the deck that automatically wins going first. That's great. Having to wait. Mm. 
Eins, das fein. Man, it took so long to rank up as well. It's the sad part. Like, like my games were like I have to fight tooth and nail, and my losses, my wins were like fight tooth and nail, and my losses are like okay, well, lost some coin flips, bro. Ay, ay, ay. It's another easy eight. And that's bottom, doesn't really help them. One nine. Not on the board, but we have to be fair. They're not there, so it's bottom. That means the threes are in. One, one Six and three, so that means the two is here. That puts the two here as well. Nice. That also means twos are here because the other two. I bet you can't activate the Zumaru one once per turn. That would help so much. <sighs> I mean, this is technically winnable, maybe, I guess. I think it's one of them. I don't know what the frick he's going for, but... <laughs> like, I mean, enjoy, I guess. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I feel like it's worth it to wait them out because people end on, like, some weird shit. Like, why did he do this? Nobody knows. Oh, I guess that's an ash. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, this time I can afford to go for it without 
without worrying about it. Why did he even make elf? I'm so confused. Like, what's the what's the point of you having elf here? What what does that exactly accomplish? Like, oh yeah, bro, I could revive that maxi so you could attack over it for free. Like, man, I don't think that was worth it for you, bro. Uh -huh. Might be Valor, right? Oh. What was the extra deal? I guess it's um, Nibiru, maybe? I mean, it's, it's kind of tough to come back from this when you mess up that. That's true, yeah. I mean, a lot of people just leave, right? That's the point. That's what I'm saying. Leaving isn't the right call. Are any of these guys wind? Uh, ironically, that might work for me. Man, that's so sad. I could have done so much, though, but... I mean, I have Droll, and I have, like, two, maybe, interactions if he doesn't get to Ash one of them, which would kill off both of the other ones. <laughs> and and you have my Taketomboy. Taketomboy. Nice deck, bro. <laughs> nice deck, bro. Hey, guess what? <laughs> There's more where that came from! <laughs> That's so sad. Jesus Christ, how bad is this deck? Thoughts on Vanilla Blue Eyes White Dragon being second anniversary award? Wait, is it really? I didn't look. <laughs> Wait, is it really? They couldn't do anything better. <laughs> like not activating Max C or something? What the heck is that? Why did I get one chest for that, by the way? Bro, hello? How is that a one chest win? How is that a one chest win? That's two chests, at least. At least. 
50 gems. I was epic that game. Did they announce it in game or something? I, I haven't checked. Oh boy. Wow, this hand is absolutely garbagio. Impressive, really. Yep, just randomly go for it. Yeah, that seems about right. I mean, to be fair, I guess, like, normal summoning Captain Carry kind of indicates that I don't have the best of hands, but still. Like, why not just keep it for the trap that I'm going to activate next turn anyways, right? Great. Of course, it's like, oh, well, I have to commit Humax Seed, but I have to. Man. Why? Why do I get this guy who's calling my bluff? You have like no reason to call the bluff. Literally no reason. For all you know... Like, I, your opponent had normal summon Captain Carry. Get ashed pass, and you're like, I have to commit into the max C. Man. Probably should be playing at least one rock. Rock. The giant rock that destroys civilizations is here. And it's top tier. As we move on, we move on. Yeah, we're totally gonna draw a trust, bro. I think the shitty part is... I don't think I can afford to draw, right? Because if I draw, he just makes access to the game. Like, he still can, right? He searches for a free extender now. So bad, dude. Like, it's just there. <sighs> Man. You don't have to do shit. It's so easy. It's so easy being this guy. I mean, unless he doesn't have room for it because he's playing full Cybers combo or, you know, called Tucker combo. That could be the case, admittedly. But it's also like, I don't play Nibiru, so... You know. Oh, baby, I heckin' love Heat Soul. <sighs> I 
Why is that still game? Why is that still allowed to be game? Man acting like he has to make decisions. You made the decision like t 30 seconds ago. What are you thinking about anymore? Oh, he's going for this OTK instead of that OTK. Oh, that's a huge difference. <sighs> it's so annoying, man. Why? Why? Why couldn't I draw better? But it's also like, why does this guy have to be a psychopath who plays into Maxi? Rightfully so. Like, obviously, I don't play the Nibiru, but... God damn it, dude! It will be. It will not be. It will see. Maxi. Hi, Doris. Welcome back, Span. How you doing? Long time no see. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is there anything that I feel like taking out for a nib, though? I don't know. If, not really, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I really also loved the part where I drew four completely dead cards and then my opponent was like, uh, I don't care, I play stupid glue deck, and then he played into Maxi. I love that part too. <clears throat> oh, the one card combo? Yeah, I think I should cut that. I think I should cut the one card combo. You're right. It's only a one card combo after all. match. Freaking match, dude. I did. I might have. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. I mean, it peaked in the first episode, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the first episode was the best episode in that season. I'm gonna end on like... Almost no interaction, but it's okay. I mean, it had its moments, but it definitely... Definitely went downhill. Down, hand kill. I hope this guy's playing Kashira. Yeah, it was. It was. It sure was. Yes, Ash, that's so scuffed for me. I feel like the ending part really didn't leave much of an impression on me personally as well. <laughs> it was nice, yeah. Come on, don't that oh, wait what? It wasn't the ash. Is it draw? Damn, I'm getting the baller. We ballin'. All right, this one's dedicated to Spinnytron because we're ballin' right now with the Gold Pride Roller Baller. Bad boy. He's a bad boy. My brother. Okay. 
Okay, well, he's getting in the gate. That's pretty annoying. Is there much I can even do about it? Not really, right? He hasn't normied yet either. I assume he searched for something better as well. I could uh, chain block, but I lose my suck then. Freaking blast. Oh, I have a negate actually now that I think about it. Yeah, I guess they're okay. That sucks because he could do a battle phase first, which would be pretty bad as well. He do it again. Break bread with the anime. Wait, is that ogre? Wait, it might unironically be ogre. Monka Giga. Oh, let it go. Okay, it's not ogre. We're good. What the heck was the delay during my turn? I'm so confused. Valor, maybe? But why not Veil then? Maybe he thought there was gonna be a higher value Veiler? I, <laughs> I don't know. Kinda confused, like, what was the delay? I ain't with it. Yeah, One Piece has been nice. I've been enjoying the manga chapters as well. In okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, this is an actual FK. Oh, never mind. I mean, it's playable. You can play it. This outcome is fine with me. What do you mean? That's not true. You can play sauce. You just have to, you know, put in stuff in the main deck. Instead of being a wussy. A goddamn wussy. Now it's time for my speed ride combo! Oh no. How much for my speed ride combo? It's horrible! Oh no! I can go for fusion if I want to. I mean, at least that's interaction, right? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I guess it's technically freaking interaction, so it's probably worth. The question is, is it worth it to go for the fusion specifically, though, now that I think about it? I, mean, I guess I can try. Maybe he will, uh, what if he has Ash? Oh, then I'm screwed. Boggers! I need this. I need that. Wow, draw meta is so fun, guys. Haha. <laughs> it's so enjoyable. Haha. <sighs> I mean, I guess we still go for this. Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay, what would Gossip Shadow do in this specific situation, though? Like, I assume you're mentioning it right now because it would do something. What would it do? Okay, it insulates against Ash, and then what? <laughs> you know? This is interaction on their turn, though. Hello? That's the whole point. We play this because it's interaction on their turn. You don't make the rank 3s 90% of the time before you get to the point where your opponent... Where your opponent freaking would have asked you anyways. Like, I don't think that's a relevant... I don't think that's relevant at all. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that it could give materials stronger, you right. <laughs> it could do that. <laughs> like, you can play the card, but I feel like Vulcan, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I see the value in that card. It's basically a budget version of this guy, but it's probably better in a lot of ways. Because it doesn't rely on you being lower life points for the effect to go through. And of course, he just has it. Nice. That's so poggers. Da, 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 da. I mean, maybe he searches for the wrong card. Of course he doesn't, man. That is so annoying. It's this is probably the worst deck of the format because it's such a piece of shit deck that makes people play droll. <laughs> God damn freaking hell, dude. I guess I could have technically waited, but it's like, he could have synchro set up before setting this, could he? I don't know, I also only had bounce too, I could search two times before that. Maybe even grab scales. Mm -hmm. I probably should have waited though. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is already garbage now for me. I can't, like, I can't stop at this point. It just tags the sound. <sighs> oh great, he's one of those people as well, I see. Man. The instance of opponent playing super heavy slam isn't the completely brain dead drone? Uh oh. Wait, what? Why would you? I mean, I guess he already had it in the hand, otherwise, I can't really explain this. I guess he could also just pen that out, admittedly. That's true. Dun, dun, dun.
three boom done here's <clears throat> don't know last two okay either yet sevens um oh, so it's just Um, <laughs> we try. I should have waited. I think if I was a bit more patient, I could have given him more chances to plant or I didn't give him the chance, so he didn't even even have to consider things. Like pretty, but I'll play for him. How I played it, hoping that he didn't have the scare. Am I blinding on something? Still. So unknown on that. Sevens on side, can't be up top on that one, but can be on top on that one. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh I actually didn't plan to play this deck so much today. I was thinking of playing super heavy swords, but I guess now that we're here, <laughs> might as well keep going. I've had a lot of unfortunate hands over the last few games. Like, you don't really want to see your note in your hand and almost ever. That's so annoying because it gets a reset after a while. <gasps> okay. Fine. <laughs> really, this goes through, right? Mm, I mean, it's not really sunken cost. It's more like I wasn't planning on playing this deck to M1 today, but since so I'm already doing it, I feel like doing more of it. It's not that I couldn't stop. Like, there's not really a difference which one I'm climbing. I'm both of them are in M3 now as well. Da, 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 that sucks. And he gets so much value. Freaking hell, dude. I ain't really follow. So unfortunate. <sighs> I think one of the bigger problems is the extra set as well. Really spooky for us. Uh, 
I think it's definitely one of those cases where if I can... If I can Zeus, it's probably ideal. And I draw a ball. Why did I go for this instead of teleport? I mean, I guess theoretically there's fusion lines, so... So tired of this shit. Are you really going to set frickin' big welcome now? That's not even how this works, dude. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, I mean... Like, expect that whatever garbage he has will allow him to set another one after, like, booking my board or whatever. Super. I hate that I have to do this, but I can't allow him to set another card. I have a couple of choices, but I think we're just gonna go for searching the searching the field spell. I mean, technically I could try to go for more, but he does play Nib as well. If I go Field Spell line here, I don't think I can OTK, right? I have a difference of 19, so I need a 6100 life point difference, so I need to go down to 19. Or, frick, I can't count. It's 19, so I need to be 100, yeah. Damn, that's tough. How much more can anyone inflict? Not that much, right? I mean, realistically, it's only the, only the two that are remaining, so 16. Follow up as well. Must be nice having infinite resources, right? I 
one. He's only on six cards next turn. Also Drentinib, I guess. Or maybe other other dude guy. Nice. Well, it could be a lady as well, right? <sighs> so tired of Maxi, dude. I am tired of complaining about it. I'd rather talk about freaking Jujutsu Kaisen. They have the other copy. And when I do that, he gets to bounce that, so that will reset all of his other cards. Like, dude, come on. Come the frick on, this is so stupid. Like, why do we have to add Maxi on top of that? He would already be so much far ahead of me. Oh boy, I lost another coin flip. That's crazy. <clears throat> I have Maxi, surely I win, right? That's how it's worked out every single time that I've opened Maxi with this deck, right? Haha, <laughs> oh wow, look at that. He's playing a deck that probably doesn't care too much about Maxi. Nice. That's what I love to see. Mm-hmm. Three, four, what? Only two. So I guess the rest are hand traps. <sighs> What a fun and engaging meta. I'm so tired of losing my ability to, like, even put up a board. I guess the difference between Maxi and Roland most of these times with the decks that I've been playing is like, okay, so instead of theoretically not being allowed to play, I'm actually not being allowed to play. Nice. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Wow, that really is a game changer, bro. Um, do I commit? Which do I want to commit? I think carry is probably lower value than Xeomin, so... Let's see if this comes through. Went through. I could technically go for a fusion plan and then set up, uh, attempt to set up a bounce, but 
I don't know, I'm kind of not feeling it, to be honest. Okay, I mean, Imperm is also just as bad, if not worse, so... The luck points are actually lower than mine. No way for me to do anything about it. Mm, I guess it could be lab, right? I mean, not lab. Lab. Dude, I'm freaking max seeing this guy. to think about it that's crazy can you stop like setting two cards every single time fine. God, it's not fine. I hate this guy's guts. Okay. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let me be depressed so in silence. <laughs> god damn it. Thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We reached our new subs goal of sex. <laughs> Thank you for the gift subs. Good, back to silence and depress. Uh. Um, I don't think you can threaten lethal, can we? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why the stuff is so loud. Like, is my... Oh, my standard volume is a little bit higher. Is the music really quiet for you guys? Is that it? Like, blowing my ears out. It's freaking killing my ass. Ugh. If I threaten Lito with this 27, I don't. I mean, we have to negate it. I don't really have a choice, right? And then he activates freaking Imperm. Heck. Oh, wait, I didn't open packs before. Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, it's trash, trash Barinth, anyways. Nice. So it was that. Yay, this shit again! I love Trash Barinth so much. And go to hell, dude. That damn trash. Yay, he gets to search and he gets to keep the guy. It's so good. I used to like this deck. I think it was really cool. I think they made it so lame. I think the support was so bad. Mm. I didn't even get... Most of these are horrible. I guess Droll doesn't really do much in this matchup, right? Mm, I could revive, but my extra deck doesn't really support it. I guess I could have switched into defense uh, in response. He just summons it. That menu was crazy! Virtual 
master agreement. Oh no, not the virtual master agreement. Oh great, evenly matched. Why would you not even use I feel like you would just use it here, no? Man. Yeah, I guess I had too many targets for him anyways. On the bright side, he has to like tribute or crash this guy, I guess. If he wants to... 50 million search and draw cards. 50 million! 50 million! Can you guys actually not hear the music? I mean, people were posting violin emotes. Wow, I sure wonder if he can get to a point where he can play the game. Haha. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess if my opponent's really stupid, right? <laughs> if he's really stupid, this could be winnable. But he's not stupid enough. It's okay, it happens. I'm actually in five other agencies at the same time as well because I'm not in a big one yet, so... I can, you know... <laughs> stream three times a month on all of those accounts, and then when I graduate on those, when I join a big agency, like Ratch Live, uh, people will all get sad and uh, they will gift the uh, one million subs. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, I don't think that's the reason why so many people are in that situation, but a lot of people have been in that situation. I'm like, man, that's kind of messed up. Ba -da -dum -bum -bum. This frickin' sucks ass, dude. <sighs> oh my god. Like, maybe if I wasn't getting maxied and trolled every single game, it would be a partially enjoyable experience. I feel like, I think maybe if that were the case. <laughs> there are very much obvious wrong plays. And then the rest of them are obvious, correct plays. Which one are you gonna go for? I wonder. How is this a point in time where he has to be like, I don't know what I wanna do, man. I don't get it. I don't freaking get it, dude. I don't get it. Oh. How do you require time to think in a board state like this? I have nothing in the hand. Nothing in my graveyard does anything. I have one card that doesn't do anything and another card that doesn't do anything. You can get rid of both of them. You're, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I could search for the negate. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, stop taking your time when it's too easy to win. I hate you. And I hate what you did what they did to Labyrinth. It was a deck to use old cards, now it's a freaking deck to be cringe. 
Where, 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 where? Where, where, where? Monster Rebirth. Wow, that's crazy. That's the first one. Now the second one redeemed just earlier. That's crazy. Let's see what we get on the second one. Oh my god, he got the number 74 freshly released in Master Duel Links two months ago. Armed Protector Dragon. I don't want the Brotherhood one. <sighs> Losing coin flips, opening garnets. That's right. Get freaking hand trapped. That's right. I'm back on top, baby. Did I add the loss? I don't think I added the loss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we didn't. I was too busy being depressed. So, all right, we're we're done going. Where, 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 where? We keep winning coins! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, I don't know... I don't know if there's a lot of people who are necessarily super interested in this. You know? Oh my god, Nifro playing not Yu-Gi-Oh! But... Uh... I do declare... That this Thursday, as a result of yesterday's raid... This... Thursday, I, I guess it's not confirmed actually, but most likely this Thursday at like, I forget, it's like 6 p.m. EST or something. Uh, there is a chance of me participating in a Uno collab with uh, Luca and Ebisu and I don't know, the third person's not decided yet, so we don't freaking know. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't use it. Use it or lose it, Yugi. <laughs> Don't you maxi me? Hey, the Fruff can't play a game you don't want to play, please. I mean, it's gotta be, gotta be a seven, right? Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. I'm the best ever! I activate Ash Blossom! I know where to activate it. I've watched two tutorials. <laughs> Why am I such a hater? What is wrong with me? <laughs> what, what is actually wrong with me? But yeah, that's just a heads up. It's not gonna be on my channel. It's gonna be on Lucas' channel, I would imagine, and maybe other parties, but I'm most likely not gonna be streaming at like 1 to 3 a.m. But, you know, that's... Now that I've uh, hyped that up... 
it's not going to work out in that time slot because we won't be able to get a fourth person and it's not going to happen. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome for getting your hopes up. Don't do it, dude. It's one and thirty seven. Okay, we cool, we cool, we cool. An AI, yeah, but it's different. You miss out on the banter and stuff. I don't know. I say that. I'm not familiar with the other person. <laughs> the current third person I'm not familiar with. And I feel like, well, I mean, I guess I've gotten to uh, <laughs> freaking talk about One Piece with Luca. Like, we haven't had that many chances to do stuff, which is also a part of why she set this up or is trying to set this up because we haven't, you know, been on stream together ever. As Northern Lion, that's a pretty good idea, actually. I think that sounds pretty good. I think he would be the perfect for. I mean, you you know how it is. We're all pretty similar. Are you freaking kidding me? Neither of my trap cards can be activated. Oh boy. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't. Oh my god, nobody added me. Why didn't you guys at me? Like nobody freaking does it. I feel like this was a debate. And he's gonna tell him some, but whatever. I love not even getting a draw off of this. Don't freak it, Shay, whatever. How would I not want to update it? I forgot it called by the because I had two in the hand. Why did I have two in the hand? Wait, did I draw into one last turn? Oh my god, no. This is so ass. I'm so glad I drew into another one. I love being able to play the game. Bro, why are you even playing Duster? We're getting, what are you gonna Duster? Wakaushi? Really, dude? That's, that's what you need to get rid of? Draw for a lap too, right? The one card is gonna make all the difference. He's always gonna have it.
Yeah, this seems like the best meta, to be honest. I'm going to search for a card. My opponent draws me, and then it's time for me to activate Thrust. Let's go! Seems like the best meta for Thrust ever. Out of all the metas we've had so far. Like, I understand theoretically what he could use it for. I'm just saying, I feel like it's not really... I'm not really in agreement with the decision making here. But hey, I mean, it worked against a random ass punk board, I guess. Well, I mean, that's still too much. <laughs> Bro, I played two lab in a row. Didn't play a lab before that. I mean, this looks smells of desperation, right? And then again, I feel like I'm falling for a different Jabate now. Why would you even lead with this, man? I feel like I got Jabated. He could have played this differently, though. He could have linked it off first. But I guess that gives away he doesn't have parallel. I think I could have waited for frickin' splash match. This is not correct. Like, it resulted in a slightly shorter game, but it was correct to wait for splash match there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, of course he's desperate, but it's still incorrect to play it like this. The equip is fine, right? Medusa. What the frick are you even looking for now? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This matchup is actually annoying primarily because he's going to pay life points as well. Uh... Yay, I love drawing useless cards. Mm 
Like his and perm. Well. I'm so glad I have specifically this guy who doesn't do shit in this situation except get popped. That's nice. I don't even know what the frick I'm like coping to draw into off of this. Nothing, I guess. <sighs> Tend is so unplayable. Like one interruption makes me unable to do anything. Spells don't even work either, because he has the counter trap. Man, this sucks. Yes, bro, you can pop my card, it's okay. Well, I don't like that he didn't pop my card. That's not okay. I guess the upside is he doesn't really have a good pop target on this right now. So if I were him, I would maybe be considering getting this guy out, but... I mean, it just punches me real hard next turn, right? Sucks. You can pop this, you can link off. Shit, I had to. I mean, I'm probably dead anyways, right? No, if he doesn't have a search, maybe. <clears throat> Am I black or Chinese? Why not both? I think it's pretty obvious. Oh, great, another useless top deck. That's what I love. That's so good. <laughs> Whoa, I totally didn't know you had the card that you searched for at the start. That's crazy. I mean, we can't hunt this shit. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, that's so poggers. Actually, okay, all right, never mind. All right, never mind. This is pretty poggers. Now, this is epic. Mm -hmm. Am I ready for Golden Sun and Tennis Switch? Uh, I don't know about that one. Mm -hmm. 
Soldier, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot I had freaking Gem Dragon Drive. There, I guess there was a point in having it in the graveyard or summoning it. To be, f that's such a. I lucked out so hard. I lucked so lucked out so hard that he allowed me to synchro and that this happened. This was unwinnable, if not for Jam. I don't know how people can watch 20 different Mega Man runs by this point, unless you really like Mega Man. Um, I think, personally, I haven't really watched a lot of GDQ over the last few years, but when I watched GDQ, it was mostly whenever the people were playing either a game I really liked, which wasn't very common, because most of the time they were playing, like, I don't know, freaking Billy Bob's... Underwear Thief Adventure 5. But, uh... I usually watched it for the banter. When they had nice banter, it was cool. So it was for the random streamers that I didn't know. They tend to make it more enjoyable, I feel. Them. That's uh, is this synchro branded? Because I don't really see why he would turbo branded in white, but okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just need to stop giving your personal opinions or anything other than Yu Gi Oh! No offense, but no one wants to hear it. Unfortunately, sad but true. Mm -hmm. Speedrun Master Duel account level 50. Alright guys, so actually when the game first came out, this run used to take five years, but we found <laughs> used to take three months with the Chinese hack bot method. But actually recently we discovered a massive exploit in the solo mode specifically for B troopers. Man, I miss old branded Despia where Cold by the Grave was a freaking hard counter to the setup. <laughs> They're farming accounts to sell them because there's people stupid enough to buy them. Oh, you mean like... Um, it's harder to detect if it's not like super fast as well, I feel like. Woohoo! What a fun match of Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Baba. Oh boy, I love it when they go for the counter trap card because that means I definitely don't have a chance. I mean, at least the song is a banger, right? At least I have that going for me in this miserable situation. It sucks that I can't even gamma it because... I mean, it's like any trap card, right? Or any fusion monster, I mean. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I mean, my addiction's not that great, especially later down the line when the stream has been going on for quite some time. Do -do 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 Damn, I'm really do be turboing it out, huh? What the frick? I mean, the other phase down is probably bad still too, right? It's not great. Uh, well, we can go this route, I guess. Search. Oh, he had called by. I hate that for me. That's actually really bad, by the way, because that means like. Don't have follow up now, and he has follow up. I mean, I guess I have a little bit of follow up, but like, it's still pretty bad. Also, he gets a free draw off of it because, of course, he does. Wait, what? Why did he not? What? Okay. Hop, 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 <laughs> oh my god, you bitch. Sucks. Hate it. 
Actually, he's out of uh, buzz though. Okay, maybe, maybe. And then again, he can search for another one though, that's right. Hooray! Farfan, Yasha, I need your expertise for dueling Chandra Cup. The swag is pretty decent this time around. Expertise. Uh -huh. <laughs> this card's a card. I guess that's true. Um, you're right, you're right. <laughs> At least he would have been on two cards in Branded Fusion, which shouldn't have targets. <laughs> Watch him have kit in hand now. Oh my god, dude. At least I can negate it, right? But actually, is it even that good? I don't know. It still sucks because, like, man. He's gonna get this back for no reason whatsoever, except that the game is stupid. And this will still be a problem after the fact as well. Like, I guess I negate it. Oh my god, he has protection for it. <laughs> now he can tag out into a different card if he wants to. I don't think he wants to, though. He probably keeps it because it's a beat stick. It's kind of hard for me to deal with. Oh, never mind. He can still dump now. Or just make a bigger monster. Yeah. Do I have a target? I have Zeus. He can steal that. I have these guys. Cool. That's great. I don't know why he bothered. Well, I mean, he wouldn't be able to tag out if he did that. Because it would have changed location, right? But So I think this was incorrect. I think you attack over Gamma because you do burn damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But actually, no, that's... Yeah, he doesn't get Cartesia back though because of that. I think the worst part is he can just bring them back because we're banishing them. This is the decisive factor to see if he understands. I really love that I had, you know, a semi garnet in hand and no ability to interact with my opponent on turn one when he just kept going with like every single card. I know it can tag out, but it needs to witness it while being in the graveyard. Oh, 
Oh my god, it went through, what the frick? I mean, this isn't really a deal, you don't want to have Wagon in hand. But we can make do now. I think we can make this work. Well, very cool. I don't know if he had the scoop there, to be honest, because, like, the setup that I was getting wasn't really all that great, but sure. We'll take this. I'll take this. Yeah, that hand was crazy. I mean, they don't come back. It's usually API breaks somewhere, and it doesn't work until you reset stream. I'm not resetting the stream for, for redeems. I don't think they normally come back. I mean, some of them might be working, I don't know. Isn't this format fun? It sucks. I think the worst part isn't even, like... <clears throat> the worst part isn't... The fact that this format, at this very moment in time, sucks. The worst part is that it's going to suck for the next two months, at least. <laughs> Like, I don't see it getting better. How did I even do this? I guess this is better against like against the second imperm, right? <laughs> it's like kind of. Damn, Giga Brain Streamer, look at me go. Ah, bing bang boom. I don't know if it's Nitro Head moment, to be honest. Like, ball is guaranteed, but Nitro Head blocking is pretty good too, though. But guaranteed balls, though. I feel like that was... I, I don't think you ever imperm... I don't think you ever imperm in general, but I also don't think you ever imperm terror top. Like, even if it were to be speedroids, it wouldn't be the right thing to do. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Mm -hmm. 
Mother trucker, dude. Mother trucker, dude. Why I oughta? Mm -hmm. Oh, the sense sucks. Card sucks. I have like no link monsters to summon. No way of getting rid of sh this shit. I mean, I do have a way, but like, it's gonna take so long, man. I feel like I'm gonna summon this only because I want him to potentially like drop panic, drop a maxi or something, but he doesn't even have it. This guy's freaking poor AF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the one's per turn. That's kind of poggers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I guess Nitro Head also works, right? Mm -hmm, mm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So ball, but bro, come on, man. Uh, I mean, it's an eight. I can summon, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I does it require punks. Mm -hmm. Burr. Mm hmm 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 Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Go for punk achieve deck to build. Uh, I wouldn't say it's super expensive, but I also wouldn't call it cheap. Like, um, from the new cards, you kind of need probably need like three Leon, I'd say, and you definitely need, well, also similarly, I would say you probably want three of the the searcher. Having three of the searcher tends to be pretty good. There's no reason to negate here now, unless. Damn, Droll kind of fricks this guy up too, huh? Um, to be honest, I think you don't really need the extra deck card. Like, this guy is not mandatory. If it's Vulcan, you're probably still fine. So you can just play a super rare generic one. It only would matter in a situation where you summon like specifically the guy and you need the revive to make the synchro summon happen, so. Actually, does this even matter? Like, what is he... Do I even care? Like, he's summoning a card, but... I feel like he's spinning his wheels, right? I'm 
I guess it's gonna be Goose Capaz. Actually, can he Goose Capaz anymore? He, like, this locks him, right? Yeah, their note is one is fine. I uh, won't agree though, you if you're playing dungeon you probably want the fusion as well. Mm -hmm. Like you probably want three yours for punk. So I guess for the deck combined it's at least nine yours. If you have punk stuff, then it's not that bad though. Am I missing something, by the way? Why didn't he go for Splash Mage immediately? Like, what was the point of wasting his Sigma? <laughs> you fool. I can't even do anything! I wasn't even going to special summon because I wasn't able to. But yeah, if he did it after normal summon, like nothing changes, right? Or did it take that long for him to process that he can't search? Like that Burst, he wasted an Elm Burst and he banished his Sigma for no reason. That was so bad. It's like the worst case scenario for him. Okay, we're in a rank up. Let's go. Now's the time. Gold Pred Math Mac? Oh no. <laughs> Don't say that. Lost the coin again? It's okay. We're going to open a crazy hand. Let's see, we had Maxi. That's a crazy hand. I mean, gamers still tough though. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> my only form of interaction, which isn't even interaction. It's freaking like. My only way of preventing him from doing stuff is by handcuffing him. Or like throwing a Molotov cocktail at him. No, my Molotov cocktail. No. No, it's not fair. But at least you don't have to worry about Max C, so let's go. Cool. That's always nice for us.
What do you think his face done is? I mean, the nice thing is at least this card isn't a part of the, like, the Floodgate setup, and it is legitimately a good card. I wish they would pivot into, like, doing something more gamer-related. <laughs> that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of ways how I can play this sound. The wording in this again. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets cards or targets a card for an attack, you can activate this effect. The next time it would be disturbed about its hat. Then it's so special summon about a monster hand or a graveyard. Man, this is so risky though. I could also just negate a track. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I can't do it. Shit. I mean, I guess it's fine. Is that fine now? I kind of did mess up though, didn't I? I should have just gone for the other one. Swing into this. I guess this way. <laughs> this way I can. I can play around Imperium, right? I mean, they kind of have one. <laughs> Yes, kind of. But also, I don't think that's needed. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's needed. What does this guy do, by the way? Like, there's not really a lot of value in having the girl in the extra deck anymore, right? So, I might as well just hear about this. It's important to not panic chain the freaking thing when he activates the... Um, when he activates the gamer in response to Zeus, because if he has Imperm, then he negates both of them, and then I'm giga screwed, so... Let's not fall for that. And yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Hey, it's basically Imperm. Hey, this guy came here to die, okay? He's not he's not here to stay. Mm 
Imagine I summoned this thing for fear. <laughs> I feel like that's what he imagined, probably. Bro, this guy's so based, though. He's playing Ice Jades. I mean, he probably plays the Floodgates, but... What are the odds that I run into a freaking Ice Jade player in Master 3? For all the winning that I've done, I've also played against a lot of people playing some funky shit, which is cool. Oh my god, another ball turbo? Are you freaking kidding? What's with all the balls? It's all balls, balls, balls. Bro, where's all the golden balls coming from? Ice Jade counter super heavy sums. I mean, if you set up the Floodgate lock, it counters it because, you know... They don't really run out besides, like, Zeus, which doesn't work because you have the Floodgate lock. <laughs> I suppose, right? The greatest duelist. The greatest duelist of his generation. Billy Bob Thornton. Bro, you're on Master 1. I know you're doing dailies, but, uh... <laughs> oh, well. Okay, he's gaming, he's gaming. I'm just worried because I'm, like, I see this and I'm like, this is everything, right? But my opponent's still here, so I'm like... Oh, he left. I was gonna say, I feel like I have everything, right? So, like, do you mind giving me the win, or...? <laughs> Was it Exos or was it something else? Oh my Jesus Christ. I'm so glad they left. Jesus Christ. <sighs> nah, we had slow opponents. That's true. I'm not really on top of the bingo, so. Uh, gonna be fine. I'm not gonna get rolled, right, guys? Right, guys, we're not gonna get rolled, right, guys? My god, he freaking got destroyed! As soon as that, as the mighty stick of Stickman hit the cards in my opponent's hand, he disintegrated. It looked really nice, though. Like, he flung his sword and the guy just blew up. That was pretty good. Mm -mm. Oh my god, another M1 opponent. Please, can I get lucky? <laughs> Please, bro. I need to load in. Oh my god, don't tell me he ult afford. We're in, we're almost in. I can see, I can see through the darkness. Please, I can, you can't keep my vibe, bro. Oh my god, he ult afford. Bro, you're master one. Why did you ult afford losing a coin flip? Bro. Suck. No one. 
It happens. And now it's another master one opponent, but he won. <laughs> Flip, no. All right, it's fine. We're opening the sickest hand of 2025. I don't even believe what it's what is in store for this guy. This guy is about to see hell. He's about to see hell. <gasps> what the frick? We were gifted a win! This guy, do you think he bricked? Or did he not realize, wait, I'm in Master 1 and I'm playing Vanquish Saw? Alright, you know no questions asked. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> oh my god, no. Bro, where's all the Master 2 players? I mean, I guess it's fine because Master 1, you don't have to sweat as much, but. Like all Master 1. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the only one. It's me and that one guy who lost to me earlier. Man, draw is so sad into this match. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it barely does anything. It's like, is there even any point? Just discarding a card. Is there even a point? I... And it depends on what he goes for, right? I don't know. I feel like Master 3 opponents played a bunch of funny decks. Master 1 players so far have been playing Runic Stun, Vanquish Soul, and now, and now this. So I'm like, I don't know, dude. So I, I don't think I agree. The Master 1 opponents haven't been playing funny shit for me today. Yes. That was the guy who... who scooped when I was comboing off for... Ten hours when I had full combo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I should have destroyed this so he couldn't send it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, well, maybe not. Oh my god. Yeah, he knows it doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. no, never end. Do I destroy lube? Dude. If you're going for trap, I'm gonna do this. I feel like it's, these are some like low impact hand traps. It, I'm desperate, to be honest. Like that's what it is. I don't think I have a lot of alternative options. Uh... Uh, I don't like that. That's really bad. Mm 
The biggest problem is the freaking Albion in the groove, I feel like. Say it ain't so, bro. Man, but why though? There's a couple reasons to do this, I suppose. So not proud of you. I'm so not proud of you, you freaking... ...testing max you have. <laughs> so bad too, because like now I lose this card forever. He gets an extra search. Oh my god, dude. Like, what the frick am I supposed to do here, though? This gets him a card in that phase. He's already on another negate. That's another, another negate. Like, how am I supposed to play through all of this? Why does this have to be a main phase only effect? I can't clear both either. Like, he has two negates. If I commit to anything, I can't play the game. But if I do this, I also just die next turn. So freaking stupid. I mean, it doesn't help. I just opened the wrong hand traps. Draw and Ogre are completely useless in this matchup. I should have held on to the Ogre. I was being desperate. I thought he might go for like some cheesy Bestial setup. Right? My bad. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome, welcome.
And so this is a Frenegade every single turn, which makes it even freaking garbage, more garbage for me. All of these can attack over everything that I summon. There's nothing I could even theoretically summon that could clear this. If this hits the grave, which is automatically that, oh my god. In hell, dude. Why did he have to have maxi? Like... This guy opened... Set up for... Branded fusion with called by... And Maxi in starting hand. <sighs> and I had Droll and frickin... I had Droll and Ogre, which is like both are D tier hand traps against them. <laughs> that looks like someone who has Ash and Draw. Oh, maybe not. I just Max. Action Max. I could be overthinking it. Ah, man. Cope, cope, cope. Cope, cope, cope. Oh my god, what the frick? Damn, I outplayed this guy so hard by having more extension than he expected. That's crazy. And to be fair, I guess if you ash that, you're really scared, but at the same time, like... Mm. I mean, I guess, like, if you expect it to be... Tier Element, right? Which means either he's played against a lot of Tier, or he's playing it himself. Because I don't really see a reason to, like, expect it to be a Tier deck right now, but... I'd be wrong, of course. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Do 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 do. We want to thin the deck before we commit to the extra draw, because then we can draw into maybe actually useful cards for a change. I guess we still do it, right? It's an extra interaction, so... And an extra draw. That's two potential interactions plus the draw. It's too good to pass up. Uh, it's so awkward because like you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da -da -da -da. Time to start playing Vampire Gold Pride. First use the vampire combo to look, put your life points down to 2,000. And then you can summon your gold pride cards for free. It's your real estate. I'm 
give me another hand trap just for good measure. I need it. Cop, cop, cop. Imagine I instantly drawled, even though I max seed in draw phase. That would be kind of funny, and by funny I mean stupid. Do I want to do it? I mean, I guess it opens up towns, but I'll risk it. I don't really have too many great cards to steal anyways, right? So... Uh, what did I tell you guys, by the way? Not to say that I'm a prophet, but... But actually, you don't even have to fear it anymore, because you can't go for the mill man, so like... I don't know, but that's like the only explanation that makes some semblance of sense to me. Is like... If you're expecting... If you're expecting the opponent to, uh... Oh, that's not good, bro. But like in the previous meta, before the dude guy ban, it would kind of make some sense. Oh, it's not great. Wish I had Ash for that, so I was keeping the... Dabagabagoo, but oh, that's so lucky for me. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I guess it depends, right? If he's discarding a spell trap, oh, he's discarding the thingy for more mills, I see. Ah, that's. Oh, he went for the trap. Okay. Dangerous Gabagoo. Oh, he went Sharon, okay. I don't think he's that much of a maniac, right? I'm actually kind of coping pretty hard, though. He might be that much of a maniac now that I think about it. He is that much of a maniac. Mother spider, dude. That sucks. Actually, I probably should have gone for this before, right? So why can't I use this guy? I'm kind of confused. You saw my Twitch stories? Thank you, thank you, I know. It was so bad. Like, legitimately, none of the fun colors were legible at all. Wait, do you say stories? Do you see multiple? You shouldn't be able to see the old ones, right? Or did they actually enable the ability to watch the old shit? Mm-hmm. 
Well, we're going for the the blind mills. Vanista could still be problematic if he gets lucky, but he only has two hits, so I believe in him not succeeding. Oh, we should have summoned. I could have summoned an attack, but. Nice. Well, I guess he gets a search though, but I think we're good. I think we made it through. I'm like running out of stuff, Jesus. Um, I could bounce them. Yeah, that's probably the play. I'm out of freaking punk cards, Jesus. Actually, is it the play? I think it's not the play. I think I go for Synchro Revive from the Graveyard. Oh, I couldn't go for it because I... Revived from the grave. Oh, yeah, that was the wrong play. I couldn't have bounced to begin with. I could have just popped one and it wouldn't have had extra follow up. Okay, yeah, that was really stupid. I'm not thinking, I guess. Um, I can bring back. Oh, wait, I don't have a tuner though. If I bounce, I. Don't kill. If I go for pep, I'm at 4k. This mills even if it's a strip of battle, right? Oh, wait, it's only if it's. Oh, okay, wow, that card's kind of bad, huh? So it's twelve plus four K twenty four six K Oh I can also search Yeah. I guess still use sprite deck or is it dead? Uh, I played it a, quite a lot last month actually. I climbed to master two, but it was like close to end of season. I didn't feel like finishing. Kind of hit a snag, and it wasn't really worth it afterwards for me. But wor wasn't worth it. It's like I I was too tired. I didn't want to do it anymore. I already had gotten my master one on a different account. So I think we don't send. Oh, we could boost. Oh my god, everything is coming together. Jesus. I could even suck, actually, now that I think about it. Like, we could go Leon, Revive. Oh, wait, why is this in the deck, though? I thought it was... What? Oh, I never mailed it right. <clears throat> I mean, it should be game regardless, right? I have too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's still okay. I mean, in this specific meta, it's kind of tough because Droll is super common as well. And, you know, Spread is also a deck that I feel like struggles against Droll, but it's playable. <clears throat> uh, 
fine. GG. Wait, was that you? You got sacked, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got sacked, but such is the price. Yup. I mean, even outside of Maxi, I had Droll as well. So I did misplay. Oh. Sixty card deck. Ooh. This is my cringe streamer. Arc. You were strong. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> well, yeah, bro, I know you freaking max seed me. Oh, okay. That's good that you know. We got jam drive, bing bang bum. Drive that jam, jim jam jum. I love how I didn't even realize like how I locked myself last turn or last game on turn two. That's how freaking melted my brain is at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't ignored me. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> this is actually a misplay, by the way. The misplay is doing this before I summon the carry. I mean, it's not like... I don't think you can objectively call it a misplay, because obviously, you know, it's RNG and whatnot. But your odds of drawing into relevant cards you don't have, and don't have access to searching, uh, and go up. If you play it that way. We're gonna burn for so much. Oh boy. <laughs> Give me Ogre is the last card, I guess. I don't freaking know. Okay, that's probably one of the worst draws, but whatever. If he were to ash this, we couldn't call by this because he's playing a 60 card deck, so we probably need our own ash. Mm -hmm. You know, the punk level threes are Cupid pitch targets. Oh my god. It was about to be drilled. It does. I mean, getting max seed sucks, getting drilled sucks. I think it feels even worse because, like, before it was three to five with dimensional shifter cards that are lingering effects that just make you unable to play the game for the most part, right? Whereas now it's, 
you know, even more cards, like brother. Infernoid. Jesu Cristo. And target one face a monster, opponent controls, return it to the hand. Uh, I don't like that actually. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, I guess it depends on what else he has, right? If it's just Lava Turbo, it's fine. Though this is also linkable. Mm -hmm. Lava Golem Turbo, I get it, bro. Oh boy, that could have gone south real fast. Can't wait. If he had, like, two mill cards, if he had Grass and the uh, Infernoid spell, I think we were dead. Well, I mean, it didn't have to be just Grass, right? There were other cards he could have had. Like the Infernoid spell and Thrust. Some other cards that also could have still been scary. We're waiting for a rank up game, I guess. Break the board school. I mean, he didn't really break the board. You're just like, he gave, he still gave me a strong card, you know, considering the board he had, but. He's hitting a monster gate. It's not quite the same though, but yeah, I guess. And that deck, it's pretty close. That's true. Bro, come on. Imagine being this type of mother trucker. You see your opponents on rank up to master one, they won the coin flip, you're ult of fouring. Okay, dude. I mean, to be fair, ult of fouring whenever you lose the coin is already such a freaking bitch made move. <sighs> mm -mm. Could be better, could be worse. It's really unfortunate I play only one, but like, I, I don't think it's even that greedy with this deck to play one. Like, it, I could definitely make an argument that it's a bit greedy, but I think it's more so just not wanting to save space. Smell. So, where am I going? <laughs> I don't want to go. I want to stay. Is it fine if I stay instead? Thank you. Um, actually, this is field spell summon from hand, right? It's looking like nib, not gonna. Mm. 
I should have activated the- oh my- wait, he had max seed the whole time? Is the guy mental? What the frick? I don't even know, man. Like, there was a window for me to gamma between the tribute, but like... I don't know, man. That's weird. I had a normal summon here. It's weird because, like, I can grab Ogre off of this, but it's also like. I mean, I think I definitely want to summon the roller. But I... It's so much value potentially lost. Then again, so is this. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a bad sign. Is it any punk or this guy on there? Like it's any of them. Very important. Okay. <laughs> It sucks because I don't have anything else to fuse with for next turn, but oh well. Na 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 kata na na la 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 la
Yes! We did it! Yes! And to be fair, I opened really good. This guy opened, like, the ochre, right? We were going to get an extra draw if they... If they, um... Targeted a punk monster as well. So we were gonna draw three cards this turn. I'm glad you can have a wonderful night's sleep, Mango. Oh, Pog, I got... I got a legacy pack ticket, guys. This is cause for a celebration. One whole legacy pack ticket, guys. A ticket that allows you to purchase a legacy pack. What will your legacy be? Very cool. Thank you, Konami. Very cool. Pack. No, I only have one pack, not nine. <laughs> Kamashi. La 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 la. Let's open the pack. But for Evil Eye? Yeah... No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Unfortunately, we're probably also gonna be forced to... Alright, I crafted the third copy. Like, why did it open? We're probably gonna be playing Super Heavy Sam's to M1, like the stupid garbage build that I was playing. Oh my god, it's Earth Shattering Event! That's what this is. And also Cyber Summon Blaster! Double payback. Uh -huh. Montage Dragon. It's the Acetone VT card. Oh, don't forget Minar. Minar. When this card is discarded directly from your hand to the graveyard by an effect of a card controlled by your opponent, <laughs> inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Minar. Which one? This one? Eldin. The cane of this monster is the source of many powerful spells. You think about some airports charging customers more if they weigh a lot? Uh, it's not airports, it's usually... Like the the companies themselves. Um, I mean, it's like a Ryanair thing, isn't it? I don't know, or or at least was considered, or maybe it's a Chinese airline thing. I don't know, but uh, I mean, it's up to you, right? If if their prices are good for you, you probably use them anyways. Ah, <laughs> Annoy when they get support, trust. It's gonna happen any moment, trust. Alright, well, we had a good time. I'm gonna send you guys to Hasher. I'm done. I'm done. Go around. If you haven't followed, feel free to follow. And or join the Discord to know when I go live, yada yada. Uh, yeah. Uh, good night. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, we we went through hell, but we <laughs> got. I mean, I still like this deck. To be fair, okay. After having played like a shit ton of super heavy samurai sword soul and also just super heavy samurai a little bit, and playing gold pride punk, I definitely enjoy playing gold pride punk more. It's just the deck is obviously a lot weaker, but it's definitely a lot more enjoyable. You know, that's that's how.